Um, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Marion Township Board of Supervisors meeting for Thursday, October 26th, 2023. The time is now 7.01 p.m. Our first item, as always, <laughs> is the Pledge of Allegiance. Right. And to the Republic which it stands, one nation after God, indivisible, with great As always, our meeting is all recorded. We ask that you sign up with your cell phone or please send them to vibrate so we can have a certain flow of the meeting. Uh, for anybody that is interested, uh, we do have masks and hand sanitizer up here. Um, first item on the agenda is the. Oh, uh, Brandon Sweeney is doing the one on the Thank you. Um, I was going to give that to you, public comment, but we're, we're good. That, that, I'll, I'll just kind of, you know, extract. Um, normally, we have the approval of the minutes. However, the minutes for the September 23rd workshop meeting, the September 28th Board of Supervisors meeting, and the October 21st workshop meeting have not been completed yet. So we'll table that until the next meeting. Um, Terms of a trade report, do you have anything that you'd like? The funds, the ARP funds were transferred over uh, from saving into the half that was done just a few days ago. We're going to be able to close out one of the um, uh, escrow accounts that we have for holding tank so that uh, property owners will be refunded their amount, which is a small fee associated with um, uh, the agreement that needs to be reported, terminating the uh, holding tank agreement. And, uh, Collins office will send us the bill and then we're done with that. So, uh, handling all the escrow accounts actually got easier once I got the hang of tagging all the, the account issues that I need to do. And full make is very helpful with that. But other than that, um, those are there for everyone to review. So, so mm -hmm. thank you. Well, the Colberts. Yeah, we agreed to that several meetings ago. Yeah, so this budget is not. Technically, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but that was that was the shit that we essentially yeah. got out of the savings account over to cover the difference. Um, thank you for running out the the actuals. That'll help me update the numbers after the budget. That for the workshop meeting in November. Um, again, if there's any revisions or anything that you want to add to things we need to focus on. Uh, yeah, we're going to go speak about that. We'll add a yeah. site between meetings, send me a text. I'll send it to you. So, yeah. I'll, I'll just, uh, what my concerns uh, are for upcoming years. Okay. Um, at this time, uh, we'll open the floor up for public comment. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We can nice by that. So I'll make a motion to uh, approve the payment of bills for October 2023. Second. Oh, Peter. Aye. 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 Okay. At this time, I will read the public comments. Um, I do know that we have a number of people from Stonecroft, as I mentioned before, here for the item number 13 about the uh, the conveyance of that deed that's kind of in flux right now. Um, I know they have signed in, but we, we ask that when you're making a public comment, Please stand at the podium, uh, try to project again, for some reason that we're, we're talking in the way that we are so that the microphone does capture everything for the Zoom and for the recording. Um, and uh, you go first. Um, you need to get up and talk to the microphone, please. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes. Just pull it down. There you go. Thank you. I'm a little bit. And at this point, I would like to defer to other people who might like to make public comments prior to bringing up this issue. Okay. Don't know that anybody actually signed in. Other Are we the only ones? I think so, yes. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then I'm here. I. <laughs> luckily or unluckily, happen to be the president of the HOA. And so I'm here simply to find out the why that the supervisors feel that this is necessary and what are the valid reasons for pursuing this. Okay, so I think that's probably yeah. the best answer. Yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy to answer that. So the, the decorant of your development, the developer of your development mistakenly 
can they land within our right of way to the HOA as common element, common element, okay? We still, we still own the land because it was never the developers to convey. However, the, re the recorded chain of title, the public record with respect to land reflects that the HOA owns that portion of land by virtue of that conveyance. So simply to, we, we, again, we still own the land. It was never the developers to convey. So what we'd like the HOA to do is simply, and, and the township would, would fund this and I would prepare the deed, it just executed a deed that gives us back that area of right of way so that the chain of title in the public record is proper. And let me, let me raise this question. Um, that tract of land, that piece of land, is part of a couple different parcels mm -hmm. that make up lot 215, mm -hmm. which goes to making up our required open space. Yes, so, so I, if, I can, if I can interject one thing here, and I think this is where the confusing element comes from. The, the ownership aspect for that particular deed or portion of the deed is not about ownership of the land itself. It's not like we're going to go out and build anything. It's so that the, the, the paperwork exercise, the documentation aspect of it, reflects the correct ownership of the right of way of the road specifically. It, it's not it's not subdividing the individual pieces of parcel. If you had, let's say, maybe a part like that went through a property, a walking path or something like that, um, you're not actually changing the underlying ownership of it. It's just correctly recording and reflecting the fact that the township has a, a I guess maybe an interest might be the right word, but we have a, a legal right. interest in a portion of that. Do you not already have an easement on that? Which so, is part, part of the plot plan that shows as an easement. And that part of it is Counted towards our open space. Well, yes. Yeah. So what? Even if it was a, a right of way, it's perhaps count towards your open space. It would. It would. Again, we're we're not going to we're not going to build a shed on it. Or, no, no. I understand. Yeah. That. However, if you do take ownership, was the original property um, that was a farm and then sold for development way back in probably two thousand nineteen. 90 something or other when it was first started, was that property line not to the road? I would assume that the, the right of way would have been there on that road, but then that's a totally different deed that was then subdivided and split up and cut six different ways to Sunday. That's again where you have to update the paperwork. I'm but sorry, if, you look, and if you look at the plot plan, yeah. It shows that the property line goes to the cabin mm -hmm. and it clearly shows the 15, 16 foot easement that the township already has. Is there a concern? For, we're talking about William Penn Boulevard. We're talking about right. the Boulevard. Okay. And we're talking about the why and the wherefore and, and the battle of the region for pushing for this cool. because it just, frankly, we're just scratching our heads. It doesn't make sense. It's no, not, it's it's the thing of the clerical things, but there's not further confusion. Well, so, so, but, 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 so remember this this was a concern was originally raised by uh, but but technically you are right. If if we, we still have a, a right of we still have a right of the land regardless, regardless of the regardless of the owner, that is true. If, but if we if we own the right if we actually own the land and it's not a right of way. Then the conveyance would be proper. If we have right of way, then we still have a right of way despite the true owner of the underlying land. That is that is correct. You, you still have right of way to but some, put in electrical lines or run super lines or do whatever, but it just doesn't make sense that the township is going to have to spend money to redefine the map. The HOA definitely is not going to spend money. So we, 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 you know, we're not, you don't have to redefine any map. It's not changing any plot plan or anything. It would. No. It would change the plot plan. No, it no, not at all. This is this is purely 
on top of what's there. This is not anything that is, is getting anything resurveyed or remarked or remeasured. Uh, and Chuck, keep me honest on this. This is purely just a it was be resurveyed. No. And it would have to have a new plot plan. No. Because we would not have an as built plan. Oh, no, no. So you're not changing your plan at all. Mm -hmm. This is this is all it's just part the ownership of that area. Just okay. like all the other open space lots, just like your individual. It's just conveying the ownership of the land that's already been defined by the subdivision plan. You're, but, still, you're still going to have to have somebody come out and redefine it, resurvey it, re no, it's it. Not all, all no. that's We're not changing the boundary or anything. The boundary will be changed because we're moving it from the It was already identified on the subdivision plan as a separate part of lot 215. No, it was not. area number eight. It's defined as it. separate. It's a separate legal description for it. It's a separate legal description for it. That's what we do. That's not but I do, hear, I do hear what you're saying. Oh, I'm sorry. Just for a moment, sir. If that had not appeared on any of the documents that we have, so if we could see. This is where the confusion comes in. We we would be perfectly happy to work with you. We're not going to be unreasonable about the plan. But from what we have, the plot plans that we have, then that is actually part of two different parcels, not section eight, the third or parcel eight, the third It was identified as open space lot 215, area number eight, because there were a number of open space lots. All with their own boundary. Yes. That was defined as open space lot 215. All okay. together. Well, they all had separate. Oh, they, they, they all have separate boundaries. Part of 215 has separate, 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 separate legal description. And that's what got conveyed to the homeowners association. But it is the entire width of the road and right away there on, you know, when you had Boulevard. But I do hear what you're saying that the what, land what, what, the, the what, land could be retained by the HOA because the township has a right. Of it. But I think the way that I'd have to look again at the deed. I think the way the deed was written, I don't know that it acknowledges the right. Well, well, I guess the question is, did we, did we did we have rights to the road as a right of way, or did we own the road in fee simple? I don't. I don't think it was on the piece. Of, it was. I, I don't. I don't think it. But clearly, on our plans, we're looking at, and maybe I have different plans. I have no idea. Uh, Landmark has not been overly forthcoming with as built plans, and I believe that one of the agreements and townships should have them as built plans, which we do not have. As far as as built plans. The developer has submitted as built plans relating to the NPDS permit and the storm, some of the stormwater management facilities that was submitted to the Berks County Conservation District as a requirement to close out the NPDS permit. I did call land and told them those plans could also satisfy the township requirements for as built plans, but they apparently want to do something different. Can someone see that? And there are as and there are as built plans that they had that were for the sewer and water facility. Mm -hmm. But you're not getting any of this information. We have none of it. We have none of it. I would say this landmark. Do you stone, prefer paper copies? So is masters. They are masters at stone walking. We have consulted. Lawyers trying to get information from them where they stand with what we call the infield, lovingly known as Lake Wobegon, the our pond, which is supposed to be used as a fire suppression system. We have no documentation on the mechanicals to that. We have not an end built plan for even the clubhouse, frankly, with all the mechanicals there. And so then the township comes in and says, well, we're going to take a piece of the land and we're going to for crying out loud. Well, it's, what are we working with here? Yeah, it's, it's not been conveyed yeah. to you in the first place. It's like selling you the Brooklyn Bridge. Okay, I'm going to give you a piece of paper you now on the Brooklyn Bridge. Do you really own the Brooklyn Bridge now? This is just correcting that 
Yes. I understand, baby. Before we yeah. go one step further, though, we would like to all be on the same page and yeah. looking at the same information. Do you prefer paper copies or digital copies? Gentlemen? Digital, please. Please. Who, who would those be sent to? You can send it to me. And I believe okay. Peter has my email I, address. Good. And if not, I'll certainly it's okay. Yeah. We're, we're and I will share it with the rest of the board. But you can understand. I have had. To, we're, we're working in the dark. And, and, and that's unfortunate. I had to reach out to the developer's engineer and request copies of plans that they were submitting to the Berks County Conservation District. I'm not surprised. We've done so. And we have gotten nothing. And we have had a lawyer talking to their lawyer. And their lawyer is dragging her feet trying to get back to us or not getting back to us. So you understand why we are reticent to do anything. Understand. I will, because I think it helps clear up a lot of misinformation. If you have the documents that we're all talking about. The accurate documents, yes. The accurate documents? Yes, yeah, and still, the... Okay, and it has... What we have is from the original plot plan. Understand. Mm -hmm. Understand. I, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll just get that information to you, and hopefully that will help fill in the blanks. Okay. Now, I have a small question. Is that Phil recorded? Uh, yes. It was recorded. Is there an issue or not an issue at this point? And I don't have my little paper with me, but we're about 25.23% is open space in our current development. I understand under the current um, combined Western Burks zoning ordinance uh, for a community like ours, uh, active adult residential, 30% uh, is required. That's something new. That's for something. That's for something. Right. Well, that's for something new. That yeah. So well, the, the development occurred before we joined. But but can we make a non-compliance a greater non-compliance. You don't have to be compliant with it. Yes. Yeah. Your development existed before that. I'm just. I just the, throw that out there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's there is pre-existing non-conformity. Yeah. Uh, generally, to expand pre-existing non-conforming unit zoning, but that's not that's not happening. Yeah, yeah. because it's I mean, you know, you know, we don't want anything to come back and fight us where we don't want to be bitten. Yeah, that that would only really be a problem is if let's say that you had a huge field next to you that was going to be the next phase of housing. You had a pre-existing non-conforming situation. Mm -hmm. You either have to go for zoning relief or you have to remedy that in the next phase of things. That's yeah. not really an issue that becomes the next. Not yeah. My next question would be, which may be I'll leave it open to you. Yes. Is, if the township now owns that strip, right up to, and there's a buffer zone of evergreens that are planted there. And based on what I understand, you're almost up to the trunk of those evergreens. I think it's done. just to the back side of the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. I thought we were talking 15 feet in. From the center. From the center, right. From the center, and I don't think it's 15, it's more than 15. But, but it's a center. Well, but regardless, what, what, what's your so, point? Okay. Maybe what we need is, could you let us know specifically with a drawing of some sort so we would understand like, what you're talking about? Because- I will get you the exhibit or, and or the copy of the recorded exhibit and the legal description that went with open space block area number eight. Well, legal description is wonderful. I'm not a little aware. So there, there, there's a plan of description. The legal description, a written description, and there's a the the call plan. Uh, that would be very helpful. Yeah, it's it's like a word problem where it explains everything. I, I get that. Yeah. And I could work that, but that's my yeah. little brain gets tired yeah. doing that. Uh, um, okay. Would any of the other gentlemen like to ask me? Okay. 
Sidewalks, just like in any other community, going down through, you know, Google's, any, any community, you, you're responsible for the sidewalk along the frontage of your property and your curb. You're yeah. responsible to maintain it. You're responsible to remove snow. Removing snow, what if it becomes, we, uh, Landmark recently, I think it was about a year, maybe two years ago, it had serious spalding going on. And so they replaced the sidewalk. It's in good shape now. Mm -hmm. And probably by the time it's in bad shape, most of us have been pushing up the basics. But um, should it fail again, then that falls on. It is the property owner of, of, along the frontage of that sidewalk. It's responsibility to own and maintain it. In the case of like the public area, it would be the HOA being the, the owner of that right. property. Yeah, how you do it internally? I'm just talking about along Moon Penn Boulevard where you're adjacent to a township right. Right. When you're internal now, that's all private right. <laughs> how you deal with that on your part is up to you. Well, you as the HOA. You created a problem. Oh, no, you have. So I'm thinking about it because what you're going to, if you bring it, is there going to be any strip that is still HOA along there? Along William Penn Boulevard. Yeah. That is not uh, uh, private property yeah. owners backing up to it. I, 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 I don't recall. I'd have to look at that exhibit right? to make sure. I don't want to speak out of terms. Yeah, that would be something that the HOA would have, you know, collectively rather Well, because we've been saying, since he here and George here, and no, it's, it's, it's a, I'm fairly certain that it's, it's, it's still still be, it's still the HOA's possibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Because if you go right up to an individual property owner's property line, then you're going to then make them responsible for that. But they have frontage on another street in turn, so you can't, you know, Probably wouldn't be fair to have fair. a property owner fair. responsible for fair fair. internally <laughs> and externally. But internally, it's all up to the agent. Yeah. Thanks. No, I understand what she's saying. If you have something with her, the front of the property, I would say, has a sidewalk. The back also has a sidewalk on it. Well, we, we don't have sidewalks in the Yeah. Community. Oh, that's right. We have, an issue. Right. <laughs> we have some open space. And if your property goes right up to the property line of the whole community, and, and there's a dead tree there. And it's not HOA property, it's your property touching it, then you have to take the dead tree off. Well, it's going to be the same thing. This is going to be your property is touching township property owned. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Then that person is going to be responsible for that. I don't want to misspeak, so it might be best to just give you the and, and I have some other things like that. Get you the plans, then you can either dig through them all you want okay. and follow up with any yeah. questions there. Well, just, as you present it, I'm seeing how this can present further problems for us dealing with this going forward. And we're trying to avoid problems for everybody. That's all. We understand your frustration with plan. We have the same frustration with plan. Um, they, no, what, what is really happening is they conveyed property to you that they did not. They didn't know the purpose, but they conveyed it to the HOA. Well, Colin has contacted their attorney and asked him to change it. Which development was divided? Actually, I think it went to the other side of the road. But then the road went through the property. Yeah. And the road went yeah. and the road of right away went through the property. Okay. The thing is a disaster. And it's landmark's problem. They put all these problems for internally in the development in which I live in as well. And for us, they never they don't answer anything. They don't answer you, they don't answer us. All has contacted their attorney about this issue. And I know. Well, 20 or 30 times. Oh, oh the yeah. It's, it's yeah. what they pull. Yeah. And if, if they had done this correctly and just conveyed the, the deed in the way that it was needed to be conveyed for purposes of the right way, well, none of us would ever notice. Like, I wouldn't have known that anything had really transpired outside of the yeah. US. But either this is the standard action to convey right. But they essentially, uh, they work with a great example. They gave you Irene's car without, you know, 
think on the average is borrowed. So you're you're under the impression that it's worse, and in some capacity, when you got the money, the worse, it is still your property. It's well, not like we're taking on the plan and everything that we have. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
if there's so we can take that off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to just let the record book hang on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, just because we put a really fine point on the plan marks for something else. And the only interest that we have in it, because at the end of the day, whether we don't or we do, it really doesn't change much from what we're going to do sitting on the side of the table. It's purely to fix the error that they made in an effort I would have to largely eliminate confusion in the future. All right. And my point would be it, it doesn't make any difference. It, it may or not. It it so really yeah. matters. Uh, we and hear and, we hear you. and we hear you. let's stop screaming everybody's we hear you. Yeah, hear you. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, okay. I appreciate that. And thank you very much. Thank thank you. You. Most of you know I'm leaving the board. I'll be off at 6 p.m. I'm very hoping, by that. the way, that one of the, one of you gentlemen or lady in this room will consider applying for this position. I think Stonecroft needs somebody on this board. And I will assure you that my colleagues, even when I'm not here, I'm not going to let Stonecrow no. run over you in any way, or not Stonecrow, but I am run over you in any way, shape, or form. We're aware of a lot of the problems in there, and I'm sure that they're going to continue to fight for you in every area possible. One thing is that um, I would read HOA and greatly appreciate any information that you get from landmark having to do with the pond, having to do with the infield conservation district is trying to decide what it is, how it's going the to conservation, payment and all that. Conservation district has accepted the way that pond, that infield was converted. That's already been done? That's already been done. Well, guess what? That's that, news to us. That's been accepted. Okay. And what about the streets? About the streets. Uh, we, the street we have we, we oh, invade. Well, not invade, but oh, yeah. again, yeah. the township does not control any of that. That's yeah. up to landmark to take care of that thing. And we have there's to still the two open space areas that need to be conveyed mm -hmm. to the homeowners association. Well, that's the pond and the, the pond infield. and the infield. Yeah, right. And the clubhouse. The township does yeah. not drive that one bit. That's all up to the, to the developer to do that. Sometimes they tell us, sometimes they don't. But most of the jobs they watch their bond money from you. They will, we have not received a request to release that bond money. Okay, as far we as have not received that to pledge it. Those are the last components okay. of closing this development out. Hopefully, then this board will not give them that money back until every piece of that property is, is done. I mean, I sure Peter saw all the pictures, John. You weren't here at this time, but the pictures, yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah. We have uh, streets that we are doing the crack ceiling on right now, but we don't own the streets. We have uh, a lot of streets. Because down the road, if we don't do it now, it's going to cost them more later. I get it. So you're just you're saying that Landmark has, you know, they threw up their hands years ago, okay. and, the, and the HOA board, long before us, for whatever reason, did not realize that they did not own the streets, and they've been maintaining the streets for all these years. We've been we've been paying for all the snow removal, all the crack sealing, all the maintenance for all of these years. And it, and realize too, the, the roads, we, are, we the roads are, some of them are fifteen years old. Now. We never, and we became aware of this only. Essentially, the more or less current board and a few years before, but from what it was 2010 was the first resident that went on, and it was like half resident, half landmark. And that delightful gentleman didn't know up from down, and he did exactly whatever landmark told him to do. And so, you know, and then he came to life. Oh my gosh, we don't own any of the streets, any of the finished streets, any of the unfinished streets. It was only a couple years ago that they started to plow the ones with the final phase of development and they paid for the snow removal. And suddenly you're going, wait a minute, why are they paying for Oh, that's right. They own it. This is what we've been dealing with. Send them a bill for past three So you know, the, 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 you 
But doesn't that spell out when everything is transferred to Bay to the HOA and who's yeah. responsible for maintenance and yeah. all those things? Yes, and actually the supervisor gave me a blessing to hold off on, on finishing up that stuff. Yeah, but early on when they yeah. thought they were going really to finish it, they were giving the thing and it, it, it resulted in the pressure being taken off the land. We all, we also have a, in in the lot. I forget the number, but it's where the pond is, which is also where the clubhouse is. And the landlord told us for, and I swore we weren't going to go off topic. We were going to stay on this one, but here we go. But landlord told us at build up, at final build up, we're going to fix that parking lot because it is a tripping hazard. Have they fixed it? No. Have they said they're going to fix it? Again? No. We're walking away. They go over just, just here, stand up. That parking lot is nothing the township has financial security. It's part of part and parcel of what was supposed to be finished properly. So, the, and the bond money was released. The, bond, the, the yeah. township gets financial security to ensure what would really be considered as public improvements the utilities, the road. And so forth, but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean a parking lot. It doesn't have anything to do with the clubhouse. You know, there's there's not money there to ensure that those private aspects of your community when they're are completed. Over, they are turned over to us if they are turned over in less than safe conditions. That means what? That's an issue between private parties. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you. It's an issue between private parties. Okay. The HOA and Lynn. Okay. Yeah. The bond money insurance stuff is is very specific. I mean, I had a call from a, a resident that bought a retaining wall on his property or on the adjacent open space area. He wasn't sure. Right. Was damaged when they can, were doing the work on the infield. Right. Yeah. And he oh. thought. That the township had money to make sure that retaining wall was corrected. And that's not the well, case. The question is the township has bond money to make for sure. For certain things. Yeah. Uh, and that's for, it's not part blanche. No, no, no. It's not part blanche. And I know it's for certain streets, certain sewers, certain, you know, like certain, yeah, you know, it's, whatever. It's very, very specific. Yeah. And, to, and, it, and it'll get to a point if there's, say there's only so much in there. And that account, that account walk no, away. walk away. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, been there, done that. And, you know, especially given the age of yeah. the community, okay. you know, it's 15 years old. It's yeah. not going to be a brand new condition. No, we, we don't expect that. I mean, I guess, having been told for a number of years, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. You understand? I, that's unfortunate that that was done. Now they're not delivered. Okay. Yeah. All right. And again, I will now. I tend to talk too much, please forgive me. No, we, yeah, we want to make sure we, especially public comment, we want to hear the issues that you have in the community. Right. We want to make sure that we're able to react to this. Yeah. And it, you know, a public, there were five thing versus a public thing, it, all that. Um, but as far as this other thing, let's see if we can work this out yeah. and see, see if it makes sense to do it yeah. or it doesn't make sense. Yeah. And I, again, I will thank you. Gentlemen and ladies, for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anybody else? So, uh, I wanted to interject one piece, and that's from the prospectus for the whole thing. Yes. Uh, Fred <laughs> Walter, Thank you. 252 Copper Beach Line. Thank you. This perspective has it defined a non flexible plan community. And the bottom line is community cannot expand beyond the boundaries of the approximately 92 acres on which it's located or contracted by withdrawal of land from the communities. So what you're asking for is to withdraw land from the community. What, what are you reading? This is the perspective uh, part of the landmark package that was approved and was the basis of the town of the development going in. We're not withdrawing land. I, I don't know what, 
Well, your perspective is well, it's the uh, is that marketing materials that we're getting? It was it's part of the documentation package of the community. Declaration. It's the declaration. And if you also, um, for reference sake, the original property lines are the same property lines on both on the original farm documents and on the current landmark documents. So the property lines haven't moved. Mm -hmm. And the original farm documents did show an easement and a dedicated roadway, the same thing. It's not labeled on the landmark plan, but it's on the original property. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is, okay, 92 acres, that means you have to redo all the development plan package to show that being removed. Uh, well, we need to, we can certainly talk about this next meeting, but I think it's important that we get into the documentation yeah. so that we're all kind of on the same way by their machines. Yeah, yeah. 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 and you see yeah. where we are. Exactly. But it's like my understanding is we're not changing any measurements, we're not changing any lot lines, we're not having to redo any plans. Yes. It's literally a, a reporting of essentially that that strip that you saw there in the sense of it being a right of way. We already have the right of way by the definition. It's just the, the slip of paper was written somewhere that says yes, parent can has this right of way. Well, and that's the cheapest. It must be the cheapest for that. But again, that's that's a little bigger other problem if that's the case. But Rather than churning and churning and churning, I think it's important that we give you the material, give you a, a couple of weeks to, to ruminate on it. And if there's additional questions, we can certainly revisit that and get you for next week. Follow you may look at it and go, okay, I get it now. And at which point you just kind of sit down, figure out what we need to do, and you move on to places. So we can do it in time to meet, or we can do it in. Well, I mean, the, the only the only difference between doing it in private is you can't have it at three of us at once. Or um, uh, well, you, well, you can't you can't have forums. Right? Yeah. So if you wanted to talk to one of us individually about it, or like Paul Sue or something like that, you certainly could do that. But the best forum to have a panel discussion like this is right, right here in the meeting. Yeah. And, and honestly, the um, workshop meetings are really easy. Yeah, they're they're very laid back. Let's do that. Our workshop meeting. They're very relaxed by comparison. Um, the Thursday night meetings are overly stuffy, yeah. but um, sit down, pull up a chair, and we can discuss it. And we can even we can even ask Chuck, for example, if there's a known situation where yes, a bunch of us are going to use the Saturday meeting, we can, we can maybe apply Chuck with some coffee and donuts about being here on Saturday. Yeah. Don't think a lot more than that. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Off the record, just <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with that said, uh, do we have any more public comments? One little thing, yes, I can hear it. And the consideration of Durham Logan Mary, of course, how far down on Wheel Pen Boulevard does Upper Marion Township service? Uh, and when did it become Williams? That's, that's the um, son. son so, so no, yeah, where's the line? Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 the end of the open space field there. Okay. Very attractive yeah. because all the way across. Okay. So the whole Okay. So the whole is the one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It it looks like close to two thousand. That could be a ball. Yeah, the number of maps around the back, you can see that. You're probably right. It probably, and I have the full list of baby sewers. She says it. It's past the dip in the road there. Yeah. 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 Maps will show it too. It's not the demo parts. We've got the grass. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Do we have any other public comments? Okay, right, seeing so enough, we'll move into the main items for discussion. The first is the Act 537. I had a conversation with Joe Baldos today, um, reviewing the packet that they have put together as the, the draft for the special study. Um, you guys have got the chance to read it. It's very good, it's very informative. Uh, Colin, you can make a couple of corrections or I should say correct, uh, changes based on some feedback that I had, and he would like you to review it before we adopt it as a board or publish it out. Um, the stipulation that I had was I wanted to add some additional consideration into the tapping fees, the financial okay. consideration section around the holistic nature of the cost. Because I went through a, an exercise with them and said, like, okay, 
if we're cost to any, let's say eight, the five million out of nine million for funding, that leaves us with this, which breaks down to about twenty thousand dollars per household. Yep. When you say, yeah, twenty thousand over twenty years, initially, oh, that doesn't seem so bad. Okay. But the asterisk on the end of there is look at it per month. When you take it twenty divided by or that hundred by twenty divided by twelve, it's still about fifty dollars, and that does not include the tapping fee yep. or the operating maintenance that you have to pay yep. once on every use. So you'd be looking at a bill per household in excess of two hundred dollars. I was like, I think that's important to put in that draft study to highlight the, the sheer uh, sensitivity and task that is probably for this project. We can't expect households to pay by all of those on fixed income to support a two hundred dollar a month yep. increase in cost of work. So it's, it's completely unattainable. Yes. Do you expect the DEG to understand that? They no. want it's black and white one. Yes. yes. But they, you know what they'll say? Well, I mean, if they say, oh, well, that's fine, but you know, I want to have that there that way if you do have to push back at some point, right. or look, this is not financially viable, yeah. which right? And next year, kind of deal. You know, you're eventually. We're, yeah, we're, we're, and I'm kind of bracing for the eventuality of this, but yeah. I want to have that team writing, Joe agreed, where we can yeah. lean back and say, look, we called this out early, and if we can't get enough granted funding, our, our special study details kind of financial situation that we have within the residents of that corridor. You can't expect this. It's not. It's not sane. It's not rational. Um, so yeah, hopefully, excellent. hopefully we're, we're some little pieces of the armor that when we have to use it will be properly prepared. Yeah, we just we just have all the final honor. So I I read the original yeah. one that they that he hands out to just a, a different one via email. Or was that the same one? It was the one that I forwarded it up. It was the one that was right at work on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, but, you need to have all the uh, uh, yes. Yeah. That one, yeah. That makes me more confident. Yes, that's one of those things. Yeah. It's scary on the surface. Yeah. One of the things that EEP, let me say, what well, yeah, it's not going to be that bad. We've got money for this. They're only looking at like 75% yeah. of, the, of the picture. They don't assess the fact that you're going to have to do, you're going to have to spend money and do things to commission your old system, build with sand and crush it, whatever. You're going to have to pay for the actual yeah. physical insulation of the pipe from wherever to the curb. You're going to have to pay the tap and feed. And then you're going to have to pay the, the actual cost of treating your waste every month. So when they say, oh, yeah, it's only $75, like we funded it so that it's $75 a household. You basically have to tack another seventy-five on that. It's one hundred and fifty bucks a month. Yep. So we, we as a board, and Jim, I know you're, you're stepping off, unfortunately, but whether it's me or me or whomever up here, we need to be cognizant of yep. having to look at the picture. Yep. Otherwise, we get sucked into something that's going to sing us. Yep. Well, if you want to turn this into the ghost town, yeah. Yep. Just yep. yep. put this suit. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll have a sewer system. Yeah, there'll yeah. be a sewer system and nobody here to use it. Nobody yeah. here to use it. So, yeah, that's that's the state of that. Otherwise, it was, it's in good shape. Yeah. Um, it's, 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 it's a very good narrative, yes. Um, what I'm going to do for our town halls, and I'm probably going to incorporate a lot of that, and I'm going to be working on this on the next for the next couple of days. Um, but the the format that I'm thinking of, and I'll send out a draft for you guys to get your your ideas and criticism on, is um, I'm going to do it in the timeline format. That we have past, present, future. We we'll break it into three sections: talk about the past, give people a quick primer on it, <laughs> the dates that by the reason it's put in. First County plan was submitted and DEB just kind of rolled with it for 40 years. There was some needs assessment done. And yes, we probably can use this, but we can't afford it. So try again another time. But just have to get kicked down the line, kicked down the line until here's where we are now. Plan got submitted, plan got approved. We can't hard pull it because this would be the result. We get soon, we get fine, et cetera. And then the future. What are we doing to move forward? How are we approaching this? How are we getting prepared for this? How are we trying to get funding? And just kind of highlight what to expect, what we're doing, why we're doing it, and, and what we're looking to, to try to achieve in this long term. Uh, yeah, it's a time. Um, but a lot of the stuff that Joe had in there is going to be very good supporting material to help hopefully explain this in a way that people will understand the position of we might have to do this if we do. The only way, only way we're going to quietly on this is 
if there's not funding. Otherwise, we will dig in, and if we have to lawyer up, we have to lawyer up. None of us want to do that. I'm sure DEP doesn't want to have to do that, but we may have no alternative. So, um, so I won't beat that point too much. Um, the same way is item number two, which is the sewer, uh, sewer management pumpkin. Uh, I'm Tara working on that. Also, I'll stay out of the guidance booklet. Um, <laughs> I think the only change that I saw, which Kimberly's working on, is the graph that has the three years, two years, two yeah. years. It was not right. Okay. Um, she said the graph was still on the right. She's still working. Yeah, I saw I saw the graph copy, mm -hmm. and I, I did it. I didn't even stop to read the little like chart thing, but the mm -hmm. actual content of the S P nine is very good. So. Uh, once that's all finalized and how long gets it to seal of approval, um, we'll get that. So that, that, is, that is the only change remaining because I did provide my my team okay. already. Good. Okay. Thank okay. you. Is there much you need to do? You want well, to well, when when the when the booklet is ready to be adopt adopted, we can get a motion on it, but it's not ready yet. Okay. So okay. we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah. 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 And then we can put it up on the website and things like that. Um, the, and we're, we're going to go uh, kind of on the theme here, the sewage management program resolution, um, which is 2023-5. We can't adopt that until the ordinance is adopted. And uh, did I? Oh, I did. I'm sorry, geez. Um, thank you. Um, I have everything sharp down, so I can have like three times on the screen. Um, the revised one lot sewage disposal system ordinance um, that was advertised in the Reading Eagle on October 12th. Um, so, if my mental math on number of days between is correct, we would have to do that at the November board supervisor. No, it's ready. It's ready. It is occurring. Um, um, unlike, unlike salvo and zoning amendments, you only need to advertise any other ordinance. Once at least seven days before, you know. Oh, okay. I was so, 20 days. Okay. Sorry. So the ordinance is ready to be enacted tonight. And okay. just for sort of recollection, it, it does impose uh, the obligation on the pumper of all our to observe the homes when it's pumping those systems and presumed to our schedule. Okay. So, and the, and the, res and the resolution, it's, it's bifurcated because the, re the resolution specifies. How pumper and haulers should submit that information to the township. Mm -hmm. So, to the extent that hydrocharge system changes in the future, or you know, the township prefers to obtain the information another way, we don't have to advertise an amendment or ordinance, but we can update how we want the information by resolution. Perfect. Yeah, and just to just to put a, a little quick recap on that, this is. Um, First, of the SEO related changes, a change that would allow those that have an unlock system to have the pumper hauler do the inspection. It just outlines a framework and some requirements about how they would submit that information in through the township to the DEP. So, right. Pre pre presently, the presently the practice, the practice of the township was to have the SEO on site observing and inspecting the olds, and that was inefficient and costly. Yeah. So, now we're requiring the pumpers to do it. Yeah, and we're going to have to kind of keep tabs on that. We're more specifically, Hydro Terror is going to have to keep tabs on that to make sure that we have conformity to that. But uh, this will change that, which I think is for a lot of people's re uh, requests, making it easier on them because it's it's one less thing in the equation. There, you simply call the pumper hauler, they come out, do the thing, they inspect it, and then they fill out the requisite paperwork. For those. They, fill, they fill out the form online regarding the uh, you know viability of the system. And then they get a auto generated receipt that the report has been filled out, which the pumper hall then has the obligation to provide to the property. Yep. So, do you know if any of the local pumper haulers have uh, contact with the office about anything? Oh, yeah, we're getting reports. You guys are here trying to get this done. Yeah. But now, so, seeing as I, I was off on the number of days required for advertisement, I will make a motion to adopt 2023 1. As advertised in the Reading Eagle. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. It's, yes. It's, uh, okay. Thank you. 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 Thank 
the student management program revolution. Uh, this is what that's the details of it. I'll explain in terms of mechanisms that have to be used by the former owners. Um, obviously, we couldn't do that until the ordinance was adopted, and uh, we'll have to follow up with letters being sent to property owners and the former owners notifying of this change. Well, the, the, and the really best way to do that, Peter, is just to advise the residents to review the guidebook because the guidebook really lays out in layman's terms what mm -hmm. we've done to the ordinance and resolution. So I, I, that, that, that's why yeah. I would recommend pointing people towards the guy. Yeah. That, that's what's good. yeah, so one of the problems we may face, so we're going to put it up on the website, but there are a lot of people in the community that don't use computers. Right? Okay. So what I was thinking. Can we put this over the mailing list so we're getting out letters to everyone? Because yep. Kimberly and Joe are very aware that we have mainly a mailing and phone call in the word of mouth community. So they're taking care of all that and Sue. Is work they're working with you to update the list of people, so we're on top of that. And I, I think yeah. the link to the old yeah. guidebook in that letter, but yeah. knowing that there are going to be plenty of people that will not have access to the computer and they may have questions. Yep, uh, so everyone's getting a letter. Yep, that's the best way to spread the word. Yep. Um, and then in, in like Matt, and uh, I imagine Kim is going to send something standard form letter out to the number of mm -hmm. anybody that is listed in you put them in the yellow pages mm -hmm. these days. Um, to notify them of that change that you're going to conduct that business in Maryland Township, FYI. It, would that be your responsibility or our responsibility? Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. 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 And we'll, I think at the worship meetings, and we would mail it. Yeah, this is this. Yeah, yeah. we'll yeah. mail it. She's on the list. Yeah, and then we'll be on top of everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's fantastic. She's fantastic. So I don't have the resolution. I, I have it here. So okay. it, is, it is ready to be adopted. Okay. I will make a motion to adopt resolution 2023-5 for the uh, sewage management program update. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, I'll sign that before everybody leaves. Uh, next is the LSA Category 4 program grant. Uh, this was submitted, the resolution was adopted, and we're getting kind of a main game on this fun to hear back if we had a word. I'm going to take it on the fact that it gives me okay. a yeah. more drink. Yeah, if, if I could ask, um, move it down under what like, need and comments. I just won't bring it up if we don't have any news on it. Well, I just I, I don't want to lose track of it. Trust me, I'll go okay. <laughs> well, you're, when you're, you're going to retire back. No. Want to? It's going to be awarded probably in April. I'm going to keep moving that month. Yeah, this is the money company. Don't you want to give us a year notice? Yeah. So, it's going to be here until September, right? <laughs> Um, okay, I just want to make sure we don't lose sight of it, especially with the lose sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for the chain of guard. Okay, so she just okay. Yeah. 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 Let's see what we want that. Yeah. Um, so next up is the LSL State by Program Grants. Uh, Alyssa and Kimberly. Uh, Working on getting this together and preparing to submit the application for the items that we were going to request for the Tulsa Hockey Police Department, as well as the emergency management coordinator supplies. Uh, John is a working on obtaining letters uh, of support, support and yes. the information for agreements and things like that, and help support that as okay. request. So, so that leads into item number seven. Okay, yep. I take that yep. please, please. So, at last meeting. I thought we had, there was no motion made yeah. for the team to okay. make the donation. Okay. okay. All right. So, so I'm going to on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So, I spoke with Chief John about this. So, they would like us to help in obtaining the teaser and the cartridges and training for the it, for a total the total package would be $22,999.27, which can be paid over five years. When I spoke to Chief Dronick, he thought that we had approved it. I was under the impression that we had approved it, although we had some discussion. Um, because when we were talking to Kimberly about the LSA statewide grants, if we had the twenty-two thousand, the just shy twenty-three thousand dollars in there, that wouldn't would have exceeded the limits if we were allowed to to submit for that. 
So, so if we include this with all their other requests, mm -hmm. then it wouldn't, something had to be pulled. Yeah. But because we had already discussed the 23,000, I was under the impression that we had made a motion. You, you talked about what you talked talk about last year. Yeah. Even if it's in the budget, you got to make a motion right, yeah. and pay for it. Yes. So, so it's about forty six hundred dollars. Thank you. And I know we had discussed it, and so if we can go ahead and motion on that tonight, we did make the the twenty five hundred dollars um uh donation for fuel as well as the mobile data terminal, mm -hmm. which they had again. They're not understanding necessarily when they come to our meetings. They're not understanding that if we have a discussion, they don't understand or maybe just not listening that we need a motion to approve that. They had obtained the mobile data terminal kind of under the impression that they would be given them the money. Yes. Yeah. Which they're just so poorly situated with funding. It's us and called Poppy Township are their only income base. And so if we don't have them, no one does. I mean, the condition of their vehicles, they're not these fancy police vehicles that we see state police drive or other wealthier townships. They're, they're, they're kind of making do with what they have. And I'm sorry, I really feel for these guys. They bring their lives to the line all the time. So anything that we can do to help them, I'm for it. So, but, but. The only question I think that yeah. was kind of lingering yeah. is that, that 22, 23,000. Yeah. Is that not being split at all with Tulpa Hawkins? It's not being split at all. Tulpa Hawkins gives them money for other things. It's just they're asking us to take any chip in for this. Tulpa Hawkins gives them more money. Tulpa Hawkins has a larger tax basis than we do. Yeah, I'm, so, just, I'm just kind of, I don't want to say anything, yeah. but I'm a little unnerved no. by the fact that Tulpa Hawkins being the primary yeah. thing. The main the it's equal. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. But if that's their their police department that we effectively sublet on, yeah. it's kind of weird that. But it, it's split. It, it's. But it, is it? it? It is. It is. It is. I mean, it's split. A, if if you call to draw a post. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of looking yeah. at this from a functional standpoint, is it's weird that we're one hundred percent funding something on. Yeah. They they get money for other things from Telpop as far as thing. Yeah, so as well it should be a lot, at least. But yeah. if, if you want to cheat on it and have it discussed, so I mean, yeah. I'm yeah. 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 it. It's over the to it's 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 they're being purchased from a is it Axe, 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 Axe. Um, which are they is sold for I think they are those stars. Yeah. 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 We yeah. asked about that. I don't know if we're admitting yeah. it. Yeah. Because, yeah. because you are you are taking the yeah. commercial. Yeah. Uh, they're they're close for you that be told last week. Yeah. 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 If we had asked yeah. about that too specifically for all the people. Find out which ones. Uh, you think we should find out which one? Well, yeah, but we had we had asked them point blank about that. So yes. Yeah. To make a motion, you think you're paused. Yeah. Make sure you put it in front. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll be building about like the 4600 in the budget and stuff like that. I'll, I'll double check the fee schedule. I think you're right. I think the first year is more than it entails down to four thousand, three thousand years. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so I do recall the first year being more, and then it's less every year after that. It's not an even split. I just did the, the mental math real quick. Um, but I'll make sure the yeah. chief speaks to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the payments for purchase. purchase. The purchase of the papers. Purchasing the taser to mm -hmm. all the contingent. Did you want to? Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to get you to. So, yeah. so well, we'll make a motion to approve the purchase of the taser to all the So, we'll make a motion to approve the purchase of the uh, four tasers, all cartridges, and training for Tulpa Hawk and the police, um, contingent upon Axon participating in CoStars. For a sum total over the next five years of twenty two thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars and twenty seven cents. 
second. From Paul Peter, right. Irene, uh, Jim. Right. Okay. Um, I think next time we'll have a place should not be purchasing or until so we do that, we don't have Agreed. So, but I think they thought we already approved it. Yeah. So just stay on the uh, end of the yeah. yeah. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It was a whole down to the most period of the scene, and they needed it. And so I think that was pretty certain, regardless of us contributing to it or not. They just came back and said, Hey, can you help us out? You know, you had discussed it. And this is another thing they're saying, Hey, can you help us out? They didn't go ahead and make the purchase. There's just a little bit of a misunderstanding in that respect. So, yeah, because we had yeah. a cross wire on the one thing. Yeah. Like they would basically right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but the mobile data terminals are things that they had to get. So the town hall meeting, um, the update on that is Joe Baldos is recommending waiting until January after the special study is ready, the fees are adjusted, the whole numbers are finalized. Um, honestly, I'm okay with that because that means we don't have to try to pan this in between like things are waiting on Christmas. We can, we can take yeah. it over. Uh, broad approach of finding a date in that. I think that's going to work better for the country. So, um, I guess maybe you start testing the water with my dates that are available in school for some time in January now. So, we can like, uh, uh, Yeah, so I would say let's look at it. We look at some dates for January, maybe like the second week or the third week. We obviously don't want to do it the same week as the board meeting. Uh, but look for something in that that band of, of weeks there and see what works for us, what works for the school. And, uh, and your new supervisor. And, and the new supervisor. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, of course, you can um, move the record. Um, we have not accepted the presentation yet because that's what's, yeah, there's no, there's no official resignation. We have not accepted it. Uh, so we'll move on from that. The next thing is the hiring of IT or computer technicians. Um, please. please, please let me switch the computers. Are you guys ready to get them? Microsoft Windows already done. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. No, 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 no. So the G1 licenses, the G1 licenses are going to be what does the backup and the ultimately the, the more email addresses and even teams in the meeting. The new computers have the Microsoft Office on them. I already put that on. So if I were to switch them out right now, you would still have Outlook just like you do right now. You would still have Excel, you'd have PowerPoint, you'd have Word. Everything that you would need would be there. There would be no difference between computer A and computer B, other than those computers are drastically newer and they're not going to give you free. Okay, so tell me something. Yes. Why, since you put whatever you put on my main computer, mm -hmm. she can see my emails, she can see the email. Mm -hmm. Melissa can't see what I said, but I mean, you can see what I said. Yeah. That's just something true with that computer. Go ahead. So, bottom line, if, if I sat down and tore that apart, I could fix it. But we're replacing it with a new computer. Uh, you yeah. yeah. I can't remember that. And that's good. And I'm very, very frustrated. Yeah. There are wires hanging in there for a year and a half. Cool. Are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. The other yeah. Um, you're going to see our Yeah. The other thing is, yeah. for, the, for the record, with the wires, do we really want to spend the money on having somebody not do a wire job unless we're talking about apparently? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 We still need everything to work with it. Yeah. If we're in a temporary location, we still need the computers. And that's that's the thing. We, we, we got the new computers. The problem that we have is those computers were probably five or six years old when soon they started. Yeah. They are. I have them. They're just so weird. Yeah. If yeah. Well, this is on, if I'm on Word, yeah. and she goesn't work, I would say it. I'm not the computer. It's with what rascal. <laughs> There is absolutely no logical or sensible reason that can happen because those two things, and Melissa, I'm sure you understand this, not, those two things are completely unrelated. Causation is not causality. I believe you that it's happening, but that's just weird. 
So in order to alleviate some of the headaches, you got the computers, I set the computers up. They're pretty much ready to rock. The only thing I need to do is have you sign in and set a password on it, and they're good to go. As long as money out just go away. All, all we have to do is I, I do the same thing. The same thing I did for Irene is he was already signed in, you already need to profile. I set up your email, it caches everything down. It connects to the server as a care directory. Yeah. So I will look at the server and see if it's server or if it's been... yeah. your your computer. I had to find it. Crazy to get it to see it. Yours, not the one. Yours probably works routine, right? No? Okay. So. Yeah. So we can certainly, I'm not opposed to potentially getting some additional help in for this, but before we go down any major avenues of something structural, let's get the possessed computers out of the equation. <laughs> There, they do some weird stuff. I mean, I guess I guess when when you don't quit them so tomorrow. How about Saturday? How about Saturday? You can come in Saturday. If somebody wants to come in Saturday, well, I switch. I will come in Saturday. I can't promise Friday because my calendar tomorrow makes me want to crawl. Um, <laughs> but I will come in and I will switch them. I've just been holding off on that because I just want to be impact you. I know I'm busy. Like on Sunday, yeah. Okay. If you want to come in Sunday, like mid morning, like 10 o'clock, just check that. Okay. Come in Sunday, we'll switch them if you're Sunday. Yes. Doc, be here on Sunday. It's not going to be terribly exciting. I'll get the brain. Peter, switch over to the Apple. Yeah, it's not going to be terribly exciting. The only thing that, that, that it is important, this is what I have been pushing you guys to do over the past couple of months is make sure everything file-wise. We were waiting to make sure. And then again, that's, that's, that's supplement. That's not your really core requirement for computers. Data that you physically have. I, I use my number. I don't know. Yeah. Scout's yeah. yeah. requirement's going to move up. Yes. Yeah. Scout's honors will not lose your output. Okay. But I heard that any anything that is physically on those computers, yes, anything that's on there, once we turn that off, plus it's on the server, it's like that will get around it. So if everything, if you want to be made to sound But I mean, as long as you guys say yes, we get backed up. Pull the trigger on Sunday, and we will we will switch the computer. <laughs> so next up, setting a quick retreat. Um, so we made a, a motion at the workshop apparently to uh, set the trick or treat night for Tuesday, October thirty first, from six p.m. to eight p.m. Um, <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Uh, Buzzer along the road occupancy permit ordinance amendments 2022 2. Uh, a draft has been repaired or prepared, and a resolution is needed to set the fees. Um, do we have that resolution prepared? Or is yeah, so, so, I have completed the draft of the updated road cut ordinance. Okay. What you'll need to do tonight. Is uh, approve the, the ordinance for advertisement and enactment at the next meeting. Okay. Uh -oh. You do need a resolution to set the fee, and I'm obviously happy to prepare that, but I do need feedback on what the feedback is. Like I, I would actually, these slides from there, there was a fee schedule. I mean, I, I, yeah, so that's the that's the problem. And that's fees, okay. and that's what we use. That's yeah. Yeah. this yeah. stuff we just did. Yeah, the blue sheet. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you want to change fees, but I mean, if we just if we're going by whatever and that's your standard, I, I, I think I think when Colin put into the ordinance, it's called yeah. covered with that agreement. Uh, that that agreement is for escrow. Not permit, not permit fees. Oh, oh, yeah, right. But yeah, so the permit fees are fine, 
But Sue was asking about other costs for, for the engineer to review or do whatever. So what do these fees cover the costs? Well, I think I think those fees are really like accounting administrative fees. <laughs> The paint subject, but then any fees for inspection and process. And they, they, if I'm still doing that, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, you have provisions for that in that escrow. No, we're talking about setting a permit application fee. And uh, so it, it can't be done like like the subdivision plan where you know they're responsible for paying any other costs. No, no, so 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 we, we need to set up permit application fee. If you want it to be limited, that's fine. Then if you want to change the application fee, it will yeah, need to be done. It will need to be done. can keep it separate. Yeah, if, as a resolution. That that is that is permit application fee is separate and apart from the escrow that's built into this ordinance. The escrow will be required by anyone who cuts a road to uh pay for the cost of the engineers review and inspection the way to it. And the and, and that is and, and the ordinance dictates that the party sign an agreement to that effect. So I'm happy to specify permit application amount in the ordinance, or we can set it by I, set it by by I think I would set it by resolution. I just think that's cheap, which is fine. I don't see any is there, that. is there a permit application for road opening in the PENDOT be schedule? That's okay. Yeah. yeah, that's actually how much is how much is that? It's a whole page. And it's what had to turn the road. Like if it's UGI, it's usually um figure it out. Well actually hold on. I don't I don't think there's an application to be listed. All the fees on that schedule are for things like when you use the underground facilities, for example, opening and pavement. But I think before you can give it a check. Ah, okay. So that, so, but, but I mean, we're not paying the trucks time necessarily either. I was, so, I would just say a permit application be by resolution, whatever yeah. amount is yeah. appropriate. Yeah. yeah. About thousand bucks, hundred bucks. Yeah. Because I'm 100 bucks. And with, with that, the way that would work is if we had the permit application be, let's say it's, I'm going to, yeah. Here. Oh, oh. Um, if we had a, a situation where, um, we still have 50 bucks. So let's just use that as an example. That if we say the permit application fee is fifty dollars, we say I've got about four hundred feet of pavement. We say okay, it's for um, for every uh, every hundred feet of pavement, it's forty bucks. That's four hundred forty times four. It's one hundred and sixty dollars plus the fifty for the the application fee. Like, is that no, kind of the? I mean, I I I wouldn't recommend doing that. Only, although you could, because again. It, the ordinance requires the parties to sign an escrow agreement, and the escrow agreement requires financial security. Financial security will ensure that the council engineer has the requisite resources to inspect and review any proposed cut, regardless of how long it's. I mean, yeah. the council engineer will have the discretion to set the financial security. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, so then that, that, that was so, the, point. So this part of the permit application can be independent of yeah, the scope exactly. and the amount of work being done. Right. So, yeah, yeah the, the application fee is essentially is, is that the Yeah, is that the fee? The, yeah. the tax and cost of administrating yeah, yeah. yeah. right. and just copying yeah. documents. Yeah. So, yeah. if it's five bucks, thousand bucks, and we're. Yeah. So, so it's, 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 board board. it's the, typically that new sheet, which is pretty nominal. Yeah, right. You're getting to the 50, 70, 80. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't have any problem with just sticking to the blue sheet as long as we're not shooting yeah, ourselves. Right. But so I would think, okay. Because you're covered on all any other expenses yeah. if that financial security. Mm -hmm. And then is yeah. that so is that something that we should adopt the blue sheet set as the for well, resolution, or do we put that have, into the order? Do we already have it adopted by resolution? She, yes. Okay. Do it. Okay. Okay. We just we just we need to adopt the ordinance. We need to do an act of work in the second month, and and tonight you need to approve an advertisement before. Right. I'll make a motion to approve the advertisement of the road occupancy permit in the permit ordinance amendment twenty twenty three dash two. Second. Roll call. Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. 
Thank you again, John. We'll probably just clarify and stuff on this. Yeah. And Sue, that, that blue sheet, is that a current pen dot? Yeah. Do that? Um, okay. It's a and then I think you sent me the resolution yeah. for the yeah. for that existing thing. Yeah. Maybe, maybe make sure Colin is better. I can put it to you. Motion to advertise. Motion to advertise, Gary. Okay, the next thing is the short term rental uh, ordinance. So I, so I also have, I'll call it a preliminary draft of that ordinance for your review. It's not ready to be advertised and enacted yet because the township does need to do some work in deciding uh, mm -hmm. the, the, stand, the standards for the inspections. Mm -hmm. I, some municipalities just prefer to use their adopted international property maintenance code to dictate, you know, what standards each short term rental must be. Mm -hmm. However, they are pretty strict. So other municipalities simply elect to build their build their own checklist apart from the IPMC, which again can be very strict. So the town needs to decide whether it wants to create its own checklist that's simpler, shorter, and maybe a little bit more flexible version of the property maintenance code or simply um, implement the property maintenance code into this ordinance for the short term rental inspections. I would imagine that we would want to use, I know you had worked on the um, rental ordinance for the past, that we want to use something similar with that. And I think we had used the IPMC for that because most of the stuff that's checked there, other than like I know the, the, the set of thing about like the thermostat, I maybe mean, a certain thing, window screens, like there's some things that are, you said, pretty specific. But Issue a certificate. Yeah. yeah. That um, you want to do, I don't know if it was a one year or two year yeah. term. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the bottom line is, like, we'll look at it again. But the I, IPMC stuff that would have been applicable for basic things like the other GPI within a certain number of feet of sand, if you have smoke detectors, you know, yeah, uh, from yeah. yeah, is it free of like burning and mold and things like that? So basic deliverability things. So I'll, I'll want to go through that with everybody again and make sure that we don't have anything that's overbearing. but and then the, the other uh, homework is that we need to create a short-term rental, rental permit application, mm -hmm. which I think is probably best done by craft. I'm sure they have. Yeah. Well, and that's what I'm going to ask. Are you, do you have a rental inspector program? Yeah, no, you do not. Yeah. You do not. We do not. That's what happens. We want don't have any ordinance or agreement, and it's something that we really need to do. So is that something to... You know, whatever model craft is used in, in other places, it's a good use here. So maybe getting what else they're using, maybe press it in. Can craft forward us? Yeah, absolutely. So, so I'll take that and build on what I have. And if the if the township also wants to regulate long term rentals, mm -hmm. then it should adopt a separate order. Right. Yeah. And that's what we were talking yeah. about. So that's the next. Like last for the long term. Yeah, it's like a two kind of dovetail. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Be, they typically yeah. manage each other. Yeah. So the, in any way? A motel? Yeah. This, there's hotel. Um, so the well, hotel. yeah. Is that separate? Yeah. Hotel, hotels are separate and long term short term rentals. And even long term rentals. Different. Yeah. 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 That they're, they're, on, they're on their own. The most separate than long term rentals. So, so, so the question we posed was, what if the hotel is also doing long-term or short-term rentals? Mm -hmm. At that point, they have multiple uses on property. Mm -hmm. It can be, can be subject so, if that if if our zoning ordinance 
Yeah. 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 The, the Western Berks zoning ordinance does not specifically contemplate a short term rental use. However, if use not contemplated by the zoning ordinance is already subject to review and regulation by the zoning hearing board through a special second process. So there's not really any need for the town to pick, implement short term rentals in specific districts because the zoning hearing board already has the power to regulate them. So the question that I have, because I haven't gone through the whole thing yet, and I need to do that. Is this whole thing spawn around a question for Airbnbs? Is there anything in the draft of that that sets limitations on somebody running out of house 365 days? Yeah, so short term for rental, I believe, in this ordinance is defined as one being 30 days or less. Okay. And, and that and, and if the so I I would ideally like the board to carefully review this ordinance because there are a lot of discretionary decisions. You know, with respect to changes in this ordinance after me. I, I when I sent when I sent the draft you, I highlighted some of them, mm -hmm. but not all of them are identified. That's certainly one that the board could change it. Yeah. If it yeah. wants to limit it to 15 days, okay. Or seven. I mean I've seen those in short term rental ordinance as well. But and is that 30 days at a time or 30 days total cumulative? 30 consecutive days. 30 consecutive days. So there wouldn't be anything let me let me rephrase that. Where does it become Long term, if it's different tenants each time, but somebody goes and gets 12. Short so, third, so, short term rental can be rented by an individual for 30 consecutive days. If it, if you hit the 31st day, mm -hmm. then, then you're a long term. Okay. So, but, but if you, if you rent it to five different people for six day periods, that's the plan for the ordinance because no one person. Is occupying it for 30 consecutive days. Yeah, I think around the Airbnb concern was you're not going to have somebody in for 30 days at a time. You're going to have people in there for three or four days at a time. Right, and this ordinance is tailored to that type of rent. Okay. So I think one of the things that we wanted to put in there was some sort of limitation. I don't know if this is maybe the right vehicle or not. That would set a limitation around you're only allowed uh, for it to be considered short term run. You're only allowed to have it be rented, let's say, four months out of the year or three months out of the year or something like that. But otherwise, it is considered four people and that's Airbnb. Yeah. One person, one does the person, two person, three person, four, then they start to cycle again. Yeah. And it's no different from long term. Yeah. Who regulates the environment? The SCC. But they don't inspect their so, VPs. So what do they get an inspection company? Yeah. What's the agency? Yeah. There's no uh, problem with the seal. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have we've had people from the Yeah. yeah. That's probably one of those things where they're supposed to regularly inspect it, but they don't. But four. Yeah. But uh but the but the state uh, can't define a seal at all the day. Yeah, right? that's we don't so, I, so I, I actually think that is a is a regulation which we probably probably put in the zone. Okay, so that would be something we'd have to take with the West first. I I'm I'm fine to say yes. Okay. Good to that. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so being as this is something that I, I know is going to be a growing thing for sure, we already have two of them in the area. Um, I would I, I would like to make a motion to authorize Colin to prepare. I mean, I'm ready. I'd like to authorize Colin to prepare a short memo requesting that be a, a top topic of discussion and review at the next Western Purpose Point zoning. Uh, Session uh, for consideration, and Paul, I can work with you off, kind of off of the side about what the points are for that. But it doesn't have to be. Mm -hmm. And you're yeah, yes. you, you look immediately concerned. Well, we, we only we only three decimals. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we, yes. We know it's four or three because we're a better part of the year. But if we don't start the ball, it's never going to get. So, I would I would only say. Let me consider whether the zoning ordinance would actually 
need to be okay. amended. So, my my hunch says yes because you're you're limiting a use, and this simply goes to the standards for the use. Yeah. Um, but I, I just want to I want to okay. So I'll make a motion to authorize you to do that based on your review, if it's necessary. So just the based on based on based on necessity. Thank you, Paul. Sure. One other thing I struggle with is the rental inspection program for short term rentals. Mm -hmm. So the way Airbnb originally was was like if I go away for a week, mm -hmm. I rent my house. Yeah. But is it still require the house now to be inspected? No, and that's that's why I want to set a threshold. If you're renting it for more than a period of time, yeah. then yeah. it's considered like it's a, a money making. Right. Right. Yeah, right. If there's not a full time occupant yeah. resident yeah. in that home. Um because we're we're getting hit with people buying houses just yeah. and have them committed to the being yeah. that are, are that yeah. 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 Those should be inspected then if you one regular. But if I live there for the majority of the time. Yeah, like to, to your advantage, like, let's say you need to travel a total of four weeks out of the year, you got you, you, you rent right your house out. I, I really don't care. That's right. totally minimum mistake. Exactly. That's yeah, who cares, right? Yeah. But if this is something that you have bought and it doesn't have somebody living in it, or I'd say you're you're a snowbird and you decide to run it out for six months at a time to various people over that span of six months, to me that fundamentally changes the use and spirit of that that property and it needs to be treated differently. So I, I have a motion on the table. Uh, the, the oh, yeah. Second. Are you second row Peter? Aye. Right. Aye. Jim. Okay. So we already covered 13, so I'm going to skip that. That was the uh, lot to be 15. Um, next is the emergency management coordinator report. Uh, I read you have anything that you have on the job? It's not. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he's just a bit, okay. he's working, yeah, he's working on the intermunicipal agreements and stuff, and yeah. Okay. <laughs> and 15 is the Creek View Dairy Operations at 952 Route 419. Uh, engineer has, has uh, issued a second review letter on uh, the 7th of September. There were two minor changes that will be incorporated into the ASPO plans to address the requirements of the NPES permit. Uh, notice of termination. DCCD did do an inspection on August 22nd. We received a report. Um, at this point in time, the letter of credit balance is $40,222.88. Uh, um, and until that closes out, we have not gotten a request for release. Sure, take it away. <laughs> take away the, everything but the letter of credit balance is $40,000. So I'm anticipating that they're going to come in with that request here. Yeah. The NPDS permit has actually been closed out. And that included the ASBO plan. Basically, what we did there was the ASBO plan for the township also satisfied the NPDS. There's no sense of doing two ASBO. Yeah. And I think that was reported, right? Yes, it was. All right. So okay. I guess we're just going to wait for them. Wait for them to start off. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you know this. I've never seen a municipality be proactive in yeah. so, yeah. and requesting yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Next, the culverts and related site improvements on Mary Drive North, Sheridan Road, Mary Drive South, as well as the paving and guide rail improvements on Riker. Uh, everything is completed. We're just waiting on the payment request from CMS. Yeah. 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 So I I need a, a motion. For two items. Uh, the first one is a change order um, that we we were able to reduce the cost, believe it or not, and in the right direction. So change order number two is for a decrease of twenty six thousand five hundred and forty one dollars and ninety five cents. It included a reduction in the amount of guide rail called at Sheridan Road. A reduction in the amount of uh, pavement yeah. wearing force yeah. installed at Sheridan Road, a reduction in the amount of guide rail assault installed along Marion Drive South, but it did include a little increase for additional pavement that was used at Marion Drive South. But the net of all that is a reduction of $26,541.95. 
Well, I need a motion on that so I can get the chairman to sign the change order. Okay, so we're all making a motion to accept the change order in a net reduction of $26,541.95. Next, execute the same. Then execute the same. Thank you, Paul. Second. Jim, second, and roll call, Peter. Aye. I mean, Jim. Okay, with that out of the way, the contractor finally did get me a, his final pay, on his final pay application, but finally got me completed. Paying in application number two, requesting $290,761.80. Um, so looking for action on that to pay the contractor. We, if that's paid, we still have 5% retainage in the amount of $28,002.57. And I need to schedule with the roadmaster to go out and give all four culverts the one to have to go. Because earlier in the month, we did identify a couple verbal punch list things that needed to be addressed. Um, but I have not been back to verify that they completed. And then I also need all the paperwork from the contractor to close out the contract itself. Is that 5% sufficient? Basically. More than sufficient. More than sufficient. Okay. That would be my only concern yeah. that we weren't safeguarding ourselves. But you're plenty safe. Okay. Everything is really completed. Yeah. There's a little bit of touch up here or there, if there even is such a need. Honestly, they did a fantastic job. Um, so I'll make a motion to approve and execute the payment of the sum of $290,761.80 to CMS. Second. Peter. Aye. 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 Jim. Aye. And then the only thing I want to ask for Peter's sign, if I can be seen and send back to the the change order. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah, so we already did a, a yeah. single payment amount earlier today, and that's the, the remainder minus uh, five percent. Yeah, yeah. works on our first, first expenses. Um, yes. Yeah, uh, I know. I know. Um, next is the guide rails. Uh, William Penn Boulevard, if we were in the dollar room, and Mayor Hess suggested that we prioritize William Penn Boulevard for this year. Uh, following Hickory Road and Ballinger Road uh, next year. Um, if we were to do all three at once this year, we would have to the project out publicly. So I, I don't have a problem with splitting up a little bit. Yeah, and I apologize, but I need to complete a PA1 call notification mm -hmm. out there because I understand there's a gas main in the area. Yeah. We're going to bend a little more. Um, and, and Silly me, I didn't think of it when I met with UGI earlier this week on Marion Drive. But nonetheless, I, I will get try and get on that to at least get William Penn Boulevard looked at. And once we know where those utilities are at, um, then I probably just approach the same guy rail contractor that did work for Alpers yeah. and see if he can get us give me an idea what it is. And if I visit, if it's, I don't see the need to publicly bid it, but if it's within the range where we need to get three quotes, then I'll, I'll need to get three quotes. And we can Yes, definitely. Yeah, and we'll, we'll definitely work with Carla. Yeah, definitely. Don't think yeah. Of the new closer to the room. I don't know that yet. Is it pretty uh, and I, I'm, Until we know where the gas main is, that may be why they're back fall. And it is best to have that back as far as possible because if a car gets off the road, you say it back down instead of hitting the top, instead of hitting the guy. So, um, uh, oh, what did you want to say something? Uh, but as we pull those old posts out, I don't know yet. Yeah, no, I wouldn't touch anything. I would, yeah. Don't, yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'll let you know when I get the and, guy, real guy out here once I get UGI to work. And uh, and let me want to go out and inspect those. Yep. Oh, we'll, we'll do something next week. Know. Yep, you got it. Thank we you, know, We don't know yet that the answer is yes, but the coach is probably going to have Yeah, there's yeah, a problem. Yeah. 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 Well, so before, before we do anything, let's go. Yeah, I'm sure. So does he? Yeah. Right. No, I'll tell you. Yeah. Because of those posts. Uh, 
Okay, so with that said, the next item is the balling or road. Next two items are about balling or road, uh, based on the fact that there is legal counsel involved. Uh, unless, Colin, you want to say something, I'm going to skip over those. Um, we've uh, notified the insurer. The insurer has requested additional information to determine whether this event is covered. Uh, I am considering how to respond. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next is the 2024 road projects. Uh, are you still requesting the outrageous amount of money for phase two revision? So that, that, that is separate and apart from notify the, the okay. manager. The demand made by the property owner and his council is separate and apart from our notification to the insurer for determination of whether coverage is made. We have we have not engaged in further settlement negotiations with council given their bad faith ethics. It's part of the reason why we are trying to kind of on insurance and potentially get insurance defense counsel involved. Um, next is the 2024 road projects. Uh, you can make decisions soon about projects if you can get them bid out before the spring time. So, Butch, give me a list of roads that prioritize yeah. and we'll look at it from a funding standpoint. Yeah, you can come in. Yeah. yeah. And if these jobs would come out and look at the drone, because that's making it a lot easier, mm -hmm. just give them a call. So we got to be boots on the ground. Yeah. 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 A lot of culverts, yes. But yeah. like the you identify, and I can help with what it's going to take to repair, restore the roads, and potential costs for that. Talking oil and chip, or are you talking repair? Depends on what depends on what well, I, 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 well, yeah. we gotta start with we gotta start with the worst one. Yeah. Just about everything needs something. Yeah. 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 But just as you really need just put down on these every yeah. Yeah. Well, you have to put it uh, up. Here. Uh, I have to fly, but every other one is pretty I talked to you here. Mm -hmm. uh, just pick a road. Get the bid out. I would suggest Sheraton Road. It's heavily traveled between here and London County. Just start picking one and go from there. Yeah. And I would suggest you prioritize that road. And then and we do get a lot of that. That means that, that I'm, uh, I'm looking at this from standpoint. Oh, excuse me. Guys. Excuse me. That road needs. Proper engineering for proper drainage. Uh, trees are an issue, but the drainage is the main issue. And that's probably going to take up most of your budget. Uh, you but I think you're going to get one fixed. And It'll be stop just talking about getting it. Just take one. It's like, 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 We'll get some info. Get on. the info from your engineer or whoever, yeah. and not Charlie Paris. Yeah, I know you, you and I had a conversation when we were passing in, in cars. Um, mm -hmm. the, uh, the thing that scares me about Sheridan is knowing that it does need to effectively be taken all the way out. It has to be regraded, it has to be redone, and knowing some of the cost that goes into doing an FDR for a whole mile, it goes to half million dollars. So, well, where are yeah, and I know you know it's better than most, but. Um, but I'm looking at this from the standpoint of the amount of usage they get. Yes. Yeah. And that's yeah. That's the higher volume, worse condition. Yeah. 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 It's prior. Yeah. 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 But it would still be good to have a list generated. Yep. Yeah. Top five. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just to see so yeah, can, where we can move yeah. yeah. this. Yeah. Just as our broad road yeah. safety, Dave. I 100% agree with you. If I had to say, like, the worst road in the town, so hands down, I'd share it. Like, there's, there's other bad ones too. Now it's just tables. Another option. Yeah. You can pick your better roads and get more mileage out of your money. But for heaven's sake, if you're going to oil and ship some of these roads, don't do what was done out on Charming Ford Road, where they didn't block out the road. They just oiled and shipped over soft spots and now the grass was growing again. That was done by previous administration. Mm -hmm. uh, it needs to be done correctly. Yeah, if you have and if people you have who implement it, failure, you got to get a new base repair. That's right. Now, we'll not about they, they well, and shipped about four miles or five miles or whatever they just had here. It looked real pretty for about a year. 
uh, but they just threw the money away. So we can't afford to do that. That was a, that was a tremendous amount of money wasted a few years back, and it can't happen again. We're now it's going front. We're going to have to do these road repairs yeah. properly, yeah. and not listen well, to well, them. Yeah. Some of the people around here who think they're engineer, highway engineers. It, it may not be the fastest thing, but I know when we did the oil and chip in the past couple of years, so the requisite item for the bid packet was anything that was uh, degraded had to be built in as a repair. So it was a situation where you had to do a, a cut and box on yeah. something that that was part of the bid packet. So you had to make it good. Otherwise, I'm not in the interest of, of paving over or putting like, a front of paint on something that's falling apart. That is what needs to be correct. There's no more roads. He's going down the road. It's got to be correct or we're not doing it. Yeah. Yes. Are there infrastructure grants available that you're aware of? Mm -hmm. How the they far as I'm from? I mean, this is it's not big on It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. Just saw one today in the quarter to eat. Yeah, I mean, it's a federal FHWA. Yeah. So usually it, it, it's usually just the, the state roads. It's never yeah. closed. That, that's that oh. anything you get sent. Yeah. 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 Anything you buy, sir. I mean, I get it too. I try to do it. Seven, Most of the stuff that I look at, like you're right, if it's the federal level, it's state roads, a lot of states, and even like below gravel, below yeah. water gravel roads, you, you, you really have to fight over that. Yeah. Yeah, that's competitive and shared and it's a high volume, you wouldn't qualify. Yeah, that. but I mean, like, aside from that particular program, most of the other programs are not eligible. So, like, multi is are good. There's tons of money for multi yeah. stuff, but we don't have any multi like, can you call them up with the with um a situation? They're gonna work to help us yeah. find stuff, and I think yeah. that's very interesting during the grant program that I went to. So it doesn't hurt to ask. Them. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very, very competitive because everybody has this problem too, and the the criteria for a lot of the programs is very, very, very specific. And, and the grant applications take some time, yeah, yeah. and investment too. So. In all likelihood, I won't be here in December to vote on the budget, but I hope you will take it into consideration. You're going to have to do something in the way of income to do these roads, even if it means borrowing the money. Yeah, you yeah. Better, yeah. you're either going to fix them or close them. Yeah. It's where, where uh, that's, that could potentially be in the budget. Yeah. yeah. And that's where we're going to look at capital expenditure, yeah. like, whether it's buying across the track or whatever. We just have to make sure that we budget in the payments of those things. Sure. Yeah. We don't want to buy all of the chip. Right. Right. Put it well. Um, and there was some discussion, I think, a year or two ago at the state level over what's going to happen with liquid fuels mm -hmm. if there's more EV vehicles out there. What's going to happen when, when that fund kind of drives up? Uh, you know, you would think mm -hmm. that the state. Government would say, okay, we're going to switch over to this, but where is that money that we all townships and boroughs rely on heavily to, present, to provide some level of funding? So, to me, that's a concern again going down the road. We're not passing the buck off anymore. We're addressing the problem now. It's going to go on set things up so that the next round of people that fall into these seats aren't stuck with these problems like we got stuck. And kind of that's yeah. what I agree. I'm very much from the mind that we could have problem shift the yep. problems. So if we took out a huge loan and fixed all the roads, we have problem shifted. We we mm -hmm. traded one huge burden for another. Yes, all the roads are great. It's how we nobody did the right Yeah. So that's that's kind of the you know this yeah, yeah, we try. We gotta try to keep that to a minimum. Like the, the reason, reason being, as I've illustrated this the past couple of years, you have to raise taxes so horrendously much because of the way our population density is to get any sizable amount of money. You're looking at double-digit tax increase. Part of the money and pay over a number yes. of years, yeah. Yeah. which yeah. require you to have and that's, all tax increases every year for the next five. That's, that's Finding that sweet spot where you don't have to drive taxes through the roof, but you can still afford to satisfy the, the loan for a 30 year period. But you know, taxes are pretty. It's just so a little different. Yeah. Our taxes, mm -hmm. my, my, my tax for Marion County Jail is nothing in compared to my school. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's like a 20, one, 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 one over. Yeah.
but we'll, we'll formulate the road project for, for next year. And and it would be good to get on it now. Oh, yes, it does. So we could put something out to bid maybe in January, February, so we get competitive bids and our dollar will go further. And I'll also let you know that we have one engineer in our office that's primarily what he does is pavement projects. Um, so I can get him on that, and I'd rather get in front of the queue before all of it. everybody else. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Bush. Yep. Sheridan. Absolutely right. I'm Sheridan. Yeah, Sheridan is definitely proper. But please get some other ones on there too. That way, we school, have school roads and other ones. Yeah, I mean, there's no way to work to be done on school road. Mm -hmm. like, like Dave had mentioned, if there's little things, cheaper things that we can maybe do some crap sailing or maybe some oil and chip on certain roads to get some additional life out of them, relatively speaking, inexpensively, that might be a good thing to have in our pocket too. Yeah, yeah. 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 They might not have the structural failures so that you could get by with oil and shipping. So first one itself, those are the three roads I would put on that project or short road past me from traveling. Yeah. That will require some blocking out. That is rather heavily traveled also. But those are the roads that have a lot of through traffic. Mm -hmm. So I don't you may think different, you may have different ideas. Well, um, I would suggest those four roads, um, certain roads at the top of this. I can see if you have enough to get it done. And, yeah. and what were the other than Sheridan? What were the other three? The Southburg Road. Yep. Wintersville Road. Um, Sheridan Road North. Actually, Sheridan Road from William Penn Boulevard to 422, and then from William Penn Boulevard North to School, school Road. Yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. 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 So, so which, section, which section of Sheridan? Out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Out. Yeah. 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 Sheridan Road south of William Penn is the one. It's the major work. Yeah, yeah. If you go to the north of 422, would be one that might require some blocking out of the oil and shipping. Yeah. Uh, the stretch of Sheridan Road between Lane Penn and 422 is not that heavily traveled. Yeah. It's fairly good. Mm -hmm. yeah. That one's not too bad. That 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 one needs to be Yeah, it's yeah. not better. It would be a good one. So and also, yeah. that's not. Let's not bananas and food for the other suit. One of my cars is so low, but I go share them in every moment. Yeah, yeah. I'm just back and forth. I drove the other day. Let's not forget, even the road you want to oil and ship, uh, if there's a drainage issue, to go yeah. So reevaluate drainage issues right off the bat. Gutters, the whole yes. thing. Yes. I, I want to. One of the things that we've tried to do in the past couple of years is we don't want to put good money out there. Yeah. So if it makes sense to do it, what like the culverts, it, it's a huge expense, but if we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Right. People have to work half ass. That is over. Dave says maybe, maybe I don't agree with it, but he's a good. Uh, uh, he, he's helping me out a lot right now. So Dave, I Dave's you. great. He's for us. Dave, like, you, you know, you can do it much higher. Call me and uh, stop by whatever. I appreciate any of them, but you have a very good background in this. And you've been, you've been involved with this before. You know a lot of the history, too. Yeah. So I, I really do appreciate your suggestions on that. And I think Sheridan wrote a very good suggestion. It's just going to be, are, are we going to be able to do it? This is the, the million dollar part. Like I said before, you're either going to do it or close it. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 And that's what we do what we do too. It, you know, once the road's identified, we we'll walk it, drive it, identify all the things that are problems and how we're going to you know, address it and put some costs together, give you an idea on budget, and then go from there. Okay. So uh, let's move on to the next uh, item. It's also road related. It's the 158 Smaltz Road uh, road curve. There's currently been quite a few accidents around that turn curve. Most recently, there was one on October 16th. A property owner has inquired as to what can be done. Um, and here has, has suggested that we put in some curve ahead signs. It's a good, very good suggestion. Um, columns to the double check on, 
minus the entity. Because that is a non enforceable sign, you don't have to place it by ordinance. You can simply put it up, correct? Correct. Fantastic. Um, and just so you know, you know, I, I did a desktop evaluation of this, yeah. you know, as it came in, because anytime there's accident or fatality or any injury, it's important. But I would really be interested to know, you know was there a police report or so, was there any information? Talked to Toby Police. Uh, they told me that um, a report, an uh, accident report goes to the property owner. Um, if we want it, we can pay for it. I can pursue it. Well, what if the, the, the property owner told me that it was someone who fell asleep. Then the sign, the sign time. Oh, yeah, but but I think the sign the sign is not bad. bad. Been, right. Because there's been other history, there, but that is somewhat reassuring. It's unfortunate someone fell asleep and had an accident, but it's not indicative of, of, of a bigger, bigger safety issue. Yes. Sure. One year. Yes. Or to the you put up those ones that you put about the yeah. yeah. That curve isn't severe enough to warrant the shed. And then they're noticeable. And then well, and they're noticed, and then they get taken out by snow plowing operations, and then it's a maintenance thing. I, I would not recommend the shed. Oh, no, actually, let's very concerns. I was actually yeah. with David's Hasman today, and we talked about that. Uh, that road has one thirty-five mile hour speed limit sign on it, yeah. so. Yeah. Uh, the township actually had an engineer back in the 80s. He was the one that put in what's recommended that they needed to put in. Uh, but I assume that we can put other signs up there, 35 mile hour speed on the signs and make them compliant again because they're not within the half a mile that they Correct. need to each other. Yes. You yeah. do not need an ordinance for that, I do not believe. So, so we uh, have to make sure there was an ordinance already for that. Yes, we spoke about And that. if that is the case, if there was an ordinance adopted, then we can put in additional signs. Yes. Um, I think they just went missing. Um, yeah, it's just part of it. And, and you can just put them up. The issue becomes if somebody's savvy enough, they can fight a ticket. If you have to produce the ordinance and the speed study that established the speed limit, otherwise, Ticket is it, 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 you know it's expunged or, or it's, it's not portable or not because it's still like a lean posted. As it stands now, there's no posting going south on. Yeah, and that's what I I noticed too, because then it becomes a, if it's not posted, it's a fifty five. That's exactly correct. Um, so I'm really hopeful. I'm hopeful there's an ordinance, but then the ordinance may identify a certain segment of that road too. So we gotta we gotta look at that, or we have to do a speed. Uh, car, car fuels. Uh, you go know, there. Their office is back there. So they they travel the road in a lot. Mm -hmm. And also around those turns, I would I would recommend Chevron signs around that turn. Well, is this the one near one fifty eight? Yeah, that's correct. And I would recommend them going north and south. Oh, I, I, I agree with some curve ahead warning signs, but the curve isn't that sharp to really warrant the Chevron. But I, I haven't looked at that criteria in a couple I'm of years. I'm pretty sure that I think it would be helpful, David Sadison and Breeze, uh, given that that building has been hit a few times. Which one? At 158? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The building has been torn away. Yeah. Well, uh, I would also hard. recommend them going north. At the hill, pay to the rest in that terms. Mm -hmm. uh, so, my recommendation if we have a sign, I would put at least one, if not two, Chevron signs on plus a curve ahead sign and south and one north. Do we, do we have Chevron signs in Chevron? No. Uh, I, I, hey, yo, yeah. We have to go to our inventory and get some sign. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. because uh, well, the aren't, aren't, aren't they're not relevant, but they're not that nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. so just make sure you can both with the different. Yeah. You do have rain chips. You have them for years. Um, <laughs> so we're in compliance, full compliance with all that. Just just to put this to a fine point, how many Chevron signs do you think that would warrant there? Like two each direction, four each, four? 
uh, to each direction. Each Fourth time, but that would be nice to have two more times of spares in case some of them get missed or stolen or damaged. Just Are we talking about both curves in that? One for that. I would recommend two signs going north because there's a hidden driveway sign going north, mm -hmm. but there's no uh, curve sign. Like I said, I think all these signs have gotten removed over the years. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. you don't have a sign image for you then, do you? He's working on it. You remember, we, yeah. we did make it. Yeah. I have, I have the signs. I have the curve heads. No, but I mean, like a listing of all your songs on any yeah, that's that's being oh, called. Uh, uh, you're talking about a sim sign <laughs> inventory management system? Yeah. yeah. I started that, had 90% of the roads completed 10 years ago. Oh, I don't know if anybody else completed it, but as soon as yeah, that one, I, I did it in the last year. Yeah. Should right. on, it should be on the computer. Well, you didn't give it to me. I think it exists on But as long as I agree with this. Okay. The year that Sims was active, I spent four weekends did a complete inventory. The only roads I didn't do were Main Street and South Street. It should be on the computer. Wow. Okay. So that took that took me about uh, thirty-two to forty hours to complete. But it, it was comprehensive with yeah. mileage, the sign condition, yeah. the post, the reflectivity, and whether the sign was in compliance with. High density yeah. prismatic. Right. So retro reflected. Yeah. Yes. So that's 10 years. Well, that, that's good data. So since it's nine o'clock in the effort of keeping this moving, I will make a motion to authorize the purchase as necessary and in our current inventory of three additional 35 mile per hour signs, two curve ahead signs, and six Chevron signs. Second. <laughs> I need a Wait. You need polls. Peter. Aye. 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 Thank you. You need polls. I need, uh, no. I need an uh, age or senior section song, too. You talk about it last week. Okay. I'll, I'll throw another motion out there. I'd like to authorize the purchase of uh, two dangerous intersection signs. Roll call here. Five. 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 Great. Yes. Okay. Next, uh, the equipment repairs. The big truck windshield, what got damaged, has a huge scratch in it that needs to be replaced. Estimate was $190. The little truck windshield is leaking at the top because of the rusting at the cap. One quote, uh, quote received. Um, we'll wait for the second quote. Yes, yeah, the second. Oh, excellent. Okay. What was the second? $5,000. And it's unfitted it properly. And so there was the interesting What was the first one? 15. I mean, that's, yeah, we need a third quote, so but the, there's a huge difference between 1500 and 1558. I think we need a third quote if you're going to use yeah. the fuels. Yeah, which I mean, it'd be nice to use the fuels. Do you have another bike shot? I don't know. I think you're out of the car now. Yeah, I'm just sweet. Because I mean, whenever possible, I'd like to get into the habit of using liquid fuels things for liquid mm -hmm. fuels. Uh, so yeah, if you could if you do that, it would be fantastic. But in addition to these hundred dollar quote, you need these body quotes that you're wearing. Yeah. Because you don't know the type of pants you need to do. Yep. Same as how bad are these two? A mileage of this general condition. They're in, I think they need care, but they're solid. Uh, I think I think uh, the uh, big truck could you know, use a frame painting 
but they need to be maintained. You just can't afford these new trucks. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got the rain, same yeah. plastic, yeah. the power yeah. hood. The uh, snow, you get to see you get nickels and dimes for the next well, snow plowing very hard on equipment. Yeah. Uh, with the little truck, the rusting, uh, apparently, uh, off brand windshield was replaced and uh, the body, both body men said. It wasn't sealed properly, so it leaked in and started rusting. Uh, that apparently that was uh, broken when you were on board. Uh, you were pregnant. I don't know how that happened, but the place it was uh, it wasn't board glass. And that's coming from two body men. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason one was so expensive is I think they would actually take the roof off and put a new one on. And they would have to remove the body. Yeah. Uh, and the other fellow said. It would be a matter of when we get in there, uh, it could be more damage. Mm -hmm. So the 1500 is just a loose estimate. Uh, the other way to fix it would be just body filler, paint mm -hmm. it up. It could last six months, it could last two years. Uh, is the is the rusting happening on like the A pillar or is it on the top? On the top. It's on the top. And there's no other rusting on the truck. Uh, and like I said, the, the windshield on the large truck. Uh, from the windshield wiper over the years, it just, and it just cuts in there and it's usable, but uh, it's not. There hits a point where it's not safe, and you're you run at the risk of not asking. Like, but they, it's the but I think we really need to have address. Uh, we should know. We should probably vote to replace that. Oh yeah, no, no, guaranteed, guaranteed. Guarantee. Um, I just wanted to, to understand kind of where the damage is on it, because optimistically speaking, I like. To your point, it could be it could be a whole big problem, but if it's just on the top, that usually means you don't have to cut the eight pillars out and do a roof replacement. Um, usually it's lot cheaper, but you don't know the far right until you start taking the headliner down and the shield off and all the other bits that cover that up. You don't see the the rock exposed. I would get another estimate from Barnett's <laughs> um, so that looks not any other equipment issues all. Bring up to you at some point in the county conversation. So I'll make a motion to authorize the uh, replacement of the big truck windshield for a total of $190. Peter, 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 Okay, second motion is to uh, replace the four snow plow shoes. Uh, they're $50 each, so this would be a total of $200. Second. Aye. Okay, moving right along, the next item is the extension of the stormwater pipe along we are going to drive to Maine. Um, we are going to get three quotes. Uh, when we get a draft document around soliciting quotes for uh, attorney Parliament's review, anything over 22500 would need to be publicly bid. He did meet with UGI on Tuesday. Uh, Chuck, do you have any quick points you want to add to that? Or Yeah, and, and I would update the agenda just the first part of that doesn't need to be kind of repeated. <laughs> um, so met with UGI and showed them the alignment of the of course I, I sent them a copy of our plan and we can't they, their requirements for separating from their gas main is making it tough to seek our storm pipe in mm -hmm. considering the utility poles on that side. However, the UGI representative is going to check with the higher ups about compromising their standards for separation. The issue becomes when, when you're within 18 inches of that gas main, you're supposed to hand dig everything. And since that parallels the route of the storm pipe, it, it's not feasible to hand dig the whole entire mm -hmm. length of it. Um, then, if, if there's no release provided to allow us to excavate in that area, you know, once we know where the line is and the depth of it, if we knew, we could. Maybe we can let maybe it allow us to excavate it. Um, but it is right up against the telephone pole too in close proximity. So I'd have to check with MedEd 
So all those things floating around, and then they offered that they may look at and evaluate moving their gas main into this more towards the center of the road. And that would be accomplished by digging a pit at each end and boring it so they don't disturb the pavement. Very nice. Um, and then the existing gas main would be abandoned in place and we could dig and install mm -hmm. our, our, our school and pipe if need be. So they have asked for our CAD drawings to facilitate with their uh, evaluation and design of this so they can get taught for it. So that was encouraging, but of course, you know, all that is not going to happen this fall yet. So we're probably looking at a spring um, project. Yeah. And so it is. I'm just going to keep plugging away at it and pushing them to, you know, to get some answers to us. Um, and I, the way I understand it, they would relocate that gas main. And it's it's an inch and a quarter, inch and a half gas main inside of two inch steel pipe. So their old two inch steel gas main, you know, they corrode. Yeah. So I guess they were pre-active and they just lined it with another gas main of, of smaller diameter. Um, but they would locate that and I, I, I'm assuming and I believe it would be at their cost. So that that makes it real feasible to do this project next. So more detail. I would let it go on. I just wouldn't remove the first you know, one. Say still still coordinating with UGI. So we're doing many projects. We are married Patrick, and we need to assume worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. That's it. We, you know, people always we always have to prepare for worst case scenario. Anything we do from here on. Yeah. Because then everything will look better once we get it. We might get lucky once. So it makes a fucking surprise. Yeah, so okay. that we move forward. Okay. We were along the Comcast franchise rule. We did receive the updated draft agreement. The percentage was directed from 3% to 5%. Um, we would uh, need to advertise this and have a appointment hearing to adopt the Comcast uh, franchise agreement renewal. Um, my understanding is we just happened to hear at the beginning of a meeting. One of our public meetings. Um, so I guess this is just to uh, we have the motion to authorize you advertising that that here, correct? Uh, yes, did uh Cohen Law Group prepare an ordinance for our enactment? Okay. Right. So in that case, I don't think we would have to I read all this. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. It's not um, it's, it's not like, but it, it's certainly it's better than our current agreement. And as you said, it was corrected to 5% that it should have been. I was going to say, did there anything change? There's more stuff that's included. There's a lot, a lot more stuff. It's in. Are we going to get? We will. Be we will be find some stuff. Yeah, we're going to see. There, there's more things that are still as re, uh, yeah. and reimbursable to the county the franchise yeah. thing. So, um, the only real sticking point that we had before was the percentage. So there's more things included, but if we're getting less of a percent, then it's the it wash when we brought that up, they just get changed to five percent. I think it was just the agreement. I think it's just the agreement that's needed in pilots and doing both. Yeah. Yes, it's supposed to be sent them an email and say, hey, yeah. Yeah, yes. So in that in case, uh, the law technically requires us to enact an ordinance to adopt the new agreement. So in that case, we have that as your ordinance. Right. Yes. Yeah. So you'll 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 want to authorize mo motion to prepare and advertise the some ordinance to adopt the uh, new contact contact right, right, right. Contact next franchise agreement as well as advertise the public hearing the same. Okay. So if you're writing on the book. Did you say anything? I was up here for the same purpose. Do I need to repeat any of that or you got it? Okay. <laughs> I'll make I'll make the vote based on how I'll say it. Thanks. Well called Peter. I mean not in uh okay. Next up on the home stretch of the major. Uh Western Burks joint zoning ordinance section 403. Meeting in September was canceled, and uh, 
we're still waiting for a update. Chances are it's probably not going to be a new year. I heard with the secretary, and she said they're not having a meeting in November or December because of the holidays. So hopefully, it will be in January. We'll see. My my understanding is that none of the participating municipalities want to enact these standards with Marion. I'm waiting for a response from Multi Over. Their solicitor who had it. It's kind of it's kind of vexing that it took that long for you to say. Any questions? Are they ever going to meet or tell them the free room to print? Oh, January. I don't know what reason. I mean, it's that bad. I don't know why. I mentioned this last night. I have no idea what we're part of this because they don't meet. There's, there's, there's a certain good utility that comes out of the world. Well, there's yeah, but, there's a good utility if, it, if yeah. you meet. Yeah, if you meet, if you're never going to meet. Yeah, it works great on paper. But uh, we won't believe that one too much. It's already like nine points. I'm going to call Vegas and vote on him. Okay. Um, Next up is the Dutch Valley Food Distributors landscaping plan change. They want to remove trees from the plant. Um, yeah, you know, I I don't have any history on this, and and you know, the request that was submitted was just we want to eliminate twenty seven evergreen trees that were shown on the um, in the approved land development plan. No, no justification, no reason, whatever. Um, so there was correspondence back and forth that we, the owner or their engineer, would be here at next month's meeting okay. to present why they're asking for this. Okay. I think, from what I understand, they just don't want to put these particular groups. That's what I understand. It, 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 that screen is probably required by the sound of. Hi. And that's the part I don't know. It's, would create significant operational inefficiencies in the time that proposed. Oh, well, okay. that's uh, again having some justification for this. Okay. Um, well, again, we won't believe it. Anyway, hey, exactly. Let's just come in and do it. Yeah. But it, what I understand though is they just don't want to. Yeah. And, and it's this month so that you guys yeah. have yeah. Yeah. And it's a $6,700 hour value that's in financial security. Yeah. It's because it'll be shown on the land development plan. It's probably relatively minimal money, but I think Colin, you're probably right. That's probably the solid requires it's not great. Yeah. Yeah. Almost looks like it's first one. Yeah. And and you have a so you know, just with the parking lot being created, so I maybe there had to be in some consideration for headlights that would be shining them to that. Yeah. And that was why it was required. Yeah. yeah. Unless the applicant just Volunteered it. I, I that's the part I don't yeah, know. The, the, honestly, yeah, why? Yeah. 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 commission minutes and they yeah. have specific to that. I'm trying to put like if our plan commission would have said we want to make sure he's there, I would have put that in the minutes. Yeah. Um, it, it might have been a deadline when the engineers are right. planning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. If you get a chance yeah. before the next meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll have more discussion on that. Uh, next is the 37 Main Streets, uh, the CWP LD after release number one. Uh, prep needs to do an inspection, want us to know the amount of release. Um, so, nothing further on that. Unless you have an update, I, I do have an update. Um, so the owner simply asked for a release in accordance with whatever you deem appropriate. <laughs> Something to that effect. Okay, then. Uh, whatever you deem is finished, that's what I'm requesting. So I was out on site Tuesday with the construction contractor. I have provided you a um, review and recommendation letter to release $139,250.13 from the escrow account that was established to provide financial security. Okay. 139 250 and 13 cents. It will leave a balance of approximately well, $251,738.81. Um, so the, pro the site work there is roughly 40% completed. Uh, 
And uh, one other point of information is the whole project. I believe the owner, after several months of frustration with getting a building permit for the foundation of these self storage units, is finally making some headway with Craft Municipal Group after I looked into the code requirements, had a discussion with Glenn Craft, and then got back to the owner with what he needed to do, have his architect do, so far as the plans for these self-storage units and the foundation. So that's hopefully getting on track now, because the owner was getting very frustrated, and so was Craft Code. Very good. So, Thank you, based, based on your, your input, Chuck, I'll make a motion to authorize the release of $139,250.13 from the escrow. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. So, I just need to get to the panel. So, she might need a letter. Normally, yeah. we get the letter. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Thank you, too. Next item on the agenda is uh, 4050 Conrad Waterford Parkway. They're making an application for a variance. Uh, we've received this zoning so hearing needs to be scheduled based on the fact that the property owner would like to open a used car lot and what is zone is our town center. Just put this on to let you know what was happening. Thank you. Yeah, that's where they used to have the car lot there. Oh, oh. So did that we changed our zoning and is now the zone of town center? And they discontinued the use for a year. So unfortunately, we could not issue the zoning permit. They made application. We denied the application. So I believe now we have an application to appeal or appeal to the zoning hearing. Oh, no, it was just that release. They didn't appeal to the determination. No, that's right. They did not. They take privacy. Anyhow, there's zoning application. Yeah, not scheduled, it's not scheduled yet. But. Yeah. And I think the key there is, you know, and why Sue put it on the agenda is make the board aware of it. So the township, if the township, the board of supervisors has a particular position on that application, right. you can become party to the case and you're, you're express so your opinion. If, to, the, to the extent that you are in opposition to this brand use occurring, you can either send me there in opposition or you can write a letter expressing your concerns and or requesting that certain conditions be imposed to the extent that there's only here parents were grants there are any options. We'll have to discuss it more. I don't want to do that tonight based on time. But I would think when was the application submitted? Um October 16th, I believe. Oh, yes. All right. So it wasn't complete. It wasn't completed that. That was, I think, the variance application. And that was the data I got the check. So they submitted a check and a zoning application okay. initially. The check was for the variance. The check was the variance application fee. Okay. Not this, the zoning application, the zoning permit was denied. Right. And then they submitted another zoning instead of I mean, an application instead of the variance. Oh, so, okay. So yeah. I did, I did, Have we received the variance application? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's when it came in. Okay. And so our, Just so we have until um December fifteenth. Yes. Yeah, it's like the Potentially the. Is that the day you're working? Yeah. Well, they, they didn't agree with the zoning board. So the zoning hearing board? No. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the zoning hearing board still, sir? Um, I mean, I, I, I believe the one who's on the hearing board member did that. So if, if the, the township wants to take time to consider the matter, we can. Take a vote at the next meeting, assuming that the proceeding is scheduled after that meeting. It will be. Okay. So, so we yeah, table, we can take one for now. I would take one for now if we can, um, because there's certain things that I want to go into detail on around nuisance things. I don't want to specifically say, like, I'm opposed to it, 
Yeah. yeah. But I think we need to have some things that gotta be done based on the I'll yeah. say the annoyance factor of having the used car lot coming and going and the noise lights. What's about it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we want to make sure that's and that would that and that would be appropriate, yeah, to provide the zoning here and work with suggestions for conditions where yeah. this is allowed. You know, the one thing I noticed driving by there is just, you know, this it's in such a state of disrepair. Um, it's really an ice. Oh, yeah, I don't know how you can condition that they, you know. It has to be pretty about the pavement. Yeah. Maybe it looks like it should. But it's probably, probably, yeah. What's that? Yeah. That, that could be a problem. Yeah. yeah. If they were open, then that would be difficult. It was, well, the zoning and hearing board is good. Well, the zoning and hearing board might not consider a site specific. And specific that's the issue. Like that. Making sure the zoning hearing board is aware of all past history and issues, yeah. at least they take it into consideration. Yeah, because they may be granted the zoning variance if they go to occupy the building, like perhaps there's no you because you don't have the proper right. facilities you can't. So in this case, one of the conditions of the request is obviously the applicant gets any approvals and permits necessary for use. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yes, but you specify. Yes, but, if, you're, you're yes, but if, if they if they don't, then we have the right to revoke this the zone permit. Right. And take enforcement action on the zone to Chicago. Yeah. The other question I have here is, and I don't know if you folks know I was going to touch base with Keith Mooney, is whether or not the some municipalities, any zoning application, they have the planning commission review it and provide recommendations to the zoning hearing board. And then they may also have the board of supervisors review the application and provide recommendations to the zoning hearing. Um, so in some municipalities, I do the zoning applications at the township engineer working on behalf of the planning commission and provide a letter with potential conditions or site issues or what have you. Um, for them to take an advisement, they take action and provide a recommendation to the zoning hearing board. Purely a recommendation. Same with the board of supervisors. You can provide a recommendation or suggest a condition, what have you. Yeah, I, I'm almost so whether, whether we have that formal in, in the process or not. I think we're certainly going to want that in advance of the, the zoning hearing. Yeah. Generally, just not going to be a Yeah. Okay. And that's where, that's where it is, whether it's, a, you know, yeah, policy and that's, that works. And that's more of what I, I want to talk about next meeting is getting something together. So we're not just going to the, the variance hearing yeah. to say, no, we don't like this. Right. But, yeah. but it's not great. But you can't take a position if you don't know the issues. Exactly. So in that case, why don't you authorize Chuck review of the application so at the next meeting? We have some form to see. For the board. Or perform discussion about whether we're opposing it, whether we're in favor of what type of condition we want. So, you want craft involved in you as well? Oh, yeah. Um, this is a non Challenges, SDE. So, we Okay. Yeah, this sounds like a hot potato. I'll make a motion to authorize Chuck to review the, the zoning. Application. Second. Roll the call. Mm -hmm. Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jen. Aye. Next. Uh, next up is the setting of the dates for the 2024 reorganization meetings. Motion was made at the board without the need to set the dates um, for the board of supervisors meeting to be Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024, and the elected auditors meeting being Wednesday, January 3rd, 2023. Both of these would be at 7 p.m. on their respective dates right here in the township building, and the, both meetings will be advertised. Um, January 1st is on Monday. There will be an observation to say we're working on does anybody um, know if the state legislature voted on or whether on whether we need to audit? Uh, I don't think that going on. It's just being talked about. Maybe someday soon, but not yet. Um, Thanks a lot. Of it. Can I, 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 I know. 
Next, next up, because I want to get this closed down, yeah. is municipal tax sheets. Uh, we need to let the Berks County Treasurer's Office know for tax rates for real estate, street light, and the new sewer levy, or I shouldn't say new sewer levy, additionally in the sewer levy if there's any changes. Uh, it needs to be signed by an elected official, and we must make a motion to have Irene complete and sign this. The due date is December 28th. Okay. So, if you don't have it complete by December 28th, nobody thinks so. I mean, I uh, am. So we will I mean, definitely have to see by December 28th. Uh, we'll just put a pin in it for now, and we'll hopefully. Have that completely ironed out by the next meeting. All of the that is advising the budget, having I already do this, all that fun stuff. Uh, next is the 2024 proposed budget. Uh, I'm still working on this. We're going to be doing a review in depth of the next workshop meeting. Yes. Uh, once the budget uh, has to be the next. Uh, once the budget is finalized, we'll have to make a motion to accept it and advertise it for both, uh, make, make it available for public inspection. Uh, we have to advertise at least 20 days before the final budget is adopted, which means that we have to do that at the November one. Yes, because there's five weeks between the November meeting and the December meeting. When's the one? December? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Okay. The meeting is the 16th. Yeah. With that said, the last item on the full agenda is to uh, provide a little bit of a recap of the executive section we have. Yeah. No? Yeah. The executive section, in case you need one, uh, I don't think they need one. Uh, yeah. well, so, there. Well, well, so, procedurally speaking, don't we have to, to, we don't have to explain in detail, but we have to mention what the executive section was uh, for the last from last meeting, from last board of supervisor meeting. Generally, yes, you need to speak. Yes. It's okay. No, it's okay. But I, I, that's okay. We don't have to go into nuts and bolts with it, but there is a requirement to at least provide spe a specific on what we talked about. So the general synopsis on this, and I'm um, going to down if I start to say too much, but yes, in the matter, uh, in the matter of following a road, uh, the the property owner retained legal counsel regarding the issue. And that's the only issue. Yeah, we just we discuss like the the potential. Yeah, and that's that's all there is to it. Uh, with that said, that is the last item on the agenda. Uh, and other than the police report, which I will scroll down to real quick. Um, otherwise, oh, see the police report. Yeah. Did you have to have it? To do that, I will be not here. Um, so standard month 667 miles of gold, 60 hours of gold works. Uh, there were 21 fire and EMS fires, which is higher than normal. 20 security checks, um, only one traffic accident, no parking tickets, and uh, six traffic stops. So, relatively quiet months, a uh, month from the looks of it. Um, I don't have anything additional other than um, I'll see you Sunday at like 10 o'clock. We're swapping computers out. Just give me the calls. All right. Update as to some of the earlier discussion. Um, John was able to provide me with the information what to help pocket these for with respect to the police departments. They buy all their vehicles. They pay for uh, several full-time officers. They're paying for a full-time officer to go through the training academy in Harrisburg. Um, in addition to that, um, uh, they uh, provide the funding for their radios as well. So they pay instead of- well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that they don't. I'm yeah. just saying it's kind of curious that- Oh, no, no, no. They pay significantly more yeah. for the police department. Maybe for us to pay for new radios. Yeah. Okay. So that that I wasn't aware of, um, but they pay significantly more for, okay. the, for the officers and the equipment. I would I think what we pay for them annually, I don't know if that even covers for one officer's salary. 
from from it's it, it has yeah, it's like just under fifty five thousand dollars, so it doesn't even cover the one hundred and fifty five. So Copenhagen disproportionately pays for yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so 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 that 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 little update that that John provided me, I have the chief's information for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, so so they they pay for a lot and yeah. you know um and and, and Sculpey is here it's, you know they do they really do a lot for us to so call them up they might not get here right away but just, just the physicality of of where they're coming from and where we're at but they show up and they do a really no, I saw them sitting out at the top of the end the other night <laughs> but I don't buy it they didn't have them like okay they must have been like uh, virus but they didn't yeah. 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 Uh, another question, question to me. Um, I've had a couple of residents in my immediate area um tell me and complain a bit about people not curbing their dogs. So are we able to put kind of curb your dogs somewhere? Yeah, if we can put that out of this, I'm not so sure everyone in the township knows that there's still a patient under ordinance. Well, so, well I, yeah. what I would suggest that rather than putting out the science, we yeah. can do that by word. Yeah. If somebody has that problem, I, I sent you guys yeah. a text message, the one that I saw originally, which was that the surgery which yeah. I said, like no dog pooping. Um, Tell people to put up a sign. They are, they are well within their rights to do that, and they can pull a place to get it done. Well, we already have it. Well, we already have it. Well, you already have it. Well, you already have it. Well, you already have it. No, please. Oh, okay. okay. But, but the problem is when you put those little signs up in your yard, then that dog definitely goes in your yard. And, and definitely. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Picture in the place. Right. Right. Yeah. That's it. Like on that work or they're at work. Park, park a camera. We'll get in front of them or something. Like I, 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 right. I, I love science. Don't think about it, but I don't want to see us spending yeah. money no. to have no dog yeah. looking at science. It's a big like that. Here. No. Right. So, so, yeah. You know, one in, in another area, we'll walk around town. It's just, it's just like putting people on notice. So, you talked about that a lot. Yeah. What's um, the third dog is dog in park? Yes, we have no dogs and no dogs. Where are the dogs? Yeah, I don't want to see it. I don't want to step in it. You know, you know, you should probably play in the park, but you know, I mean, we can even look for the third dogs. Yeah, 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 right. Right. So uh, I'll get back to those residents. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, think of the Yeah. Um, uh, just as a side, I, I like to kind of say thank you to everyone. Um, it's just nice to work in an environment where we all work together. And it's it's refreshing and it's nice. And it, it's nice to see some cooperation with so many different people in this room. So thank you all very much. Yeah, uh, any comments? In all likelihood, my closing will be the end of November, uh, maybe the first couple of days of December. So I will, unless my house sale falls through, I will probably be resigning at the end of November. Okay. Just wanted to let you know so you can start your process of looking for a replacement. Yeah. So the box has to be officially tendered to resignation. So you, yep. Actually, you can tender your resignation now. We can Correct. You can tender your, your resignation now. We can call them your clothes in the car. And then after it occurs, you can accept. Yeah. Okay. Well, so 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 procedurally, we also have a, a little bit of waiting in order to install and not accept your resignation right away. Um, but uh, Open statement to anybody in the audience. If you, Why would you are do well, if Don't we you want rid of me? No, no, uh, if you know anybody that is well suited to this and interested, or are you yourself, okay. let us know. We'll sit down and have an interview process with that, like we did for replacing Jim. Uh, I, yeah, so we're, we're doing a more proper vetting process to make sure that it's, it's a good fit. Um, and uh, I think Sue might smell you in your sleep if you put Sue's name in a hat. Um, of course. Reverse. 
Uh, uh, so spread the word. We're happy to write it fantasy, um, but we want to make sure we have somebody who has the right kind of skill set, the right kind of and he will use a computer yes. and um, text messaging. Um, what's it now? Uh, five years. Or four years. You have to um, run the next election. No, that's not our dream. Jim, Jim, just the last one. He's got four years left. Four years. He's got four years. Four years. Four years. Yeah, he's got four years. I'm up for re election. Oh, so it would be different from for someone appointed versus yeah, you just fill out that for you just fill out three major first term. Yeah, and you get so for the remainder of Jim's term is basically four years. Yeah. Okay, you get the job handling. Yeah. Uh Jim, any other comments? Okay, thank you. Stop. Nothing. Okay, follow up. One, one point. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the, huh? the injunction petition has been prepared and submitted to the Code Enforcement Officer for review and signing of the verification form. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. What was it? Sorry, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should send thank you letters to Senator Gephardt's mm -hmm. office and Representative Josiak's office too. Um, mm -hmm. to say thank you oh. for the letter of support and kind of keep that little. Oh, yeah, that's an excellent. Yeah. Um, on November 17th, there's a breakfast at 8 a.m. with the commissioners in Birdsboro. I mean, you guys want to go? I read that they're going to have to stay at all the and check on the request for the I can't accept it. It's not a good official. Well, let's talk. Oh, okay. I don't know. You have to read it. Oh, I don't know. So, double check, but I know that um, the thing I went to with Kim was elected officials, but I Well, this is the one I went to was in downtown, right? But the stage is the breakfast yearly. Yeah. But, but as long as you have an elected official with you, she might be able to take the engineer or even ask your secretary. Yeah. Um, check what's the menu. Check what's the menu. Yeah, you want to have, yeah. That's what the menu I might be know. Well, it's just the emails from the ICR. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, see, do you have some I just want to cross my statement. Jim, you should actually wait as long as possible to tender your resignation because the board needs to accept it within 45 days and then after it only has 30 days to call someone. So do it the day before closing. Think that you're in the final closing. Yeah, we'll do it the next, guess, the next board of supervisors meeting in relation to your. Well, you can do that. You can do that. Uh, well, yeah, that's that's true. That's true. It's true. It's true. Do it the day before the closing is scheduled to happen. Continue upon it happening. Or we'll accept it the next meeting, and then we'll have 30 days to go well, We actually have 45 days to accept it, so we can technically install a meeting. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah, yes, yeah. 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 But he won't, you know, he won't have, he won't have the second class time, but he won't have the power to yeah. the super Yeah, yeah. it's one of the since rest of the time. Yeah. 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 I hate to see you go here, but congratulations on finding him. Um, I hate it. There's just not, there was nothing available. Yeah. It's, it's a bit on me, too. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's uh, yeah, it's the, uh, the side path is really bad. Yeah. Um, so, with that said, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Time is now 9.35 p.m. Second. Aye. 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 Aye.